Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some uh, Terraria. And I've got a couple of things to stack away here. When did I get a dungeon door? Well, whatever. Um, I've scrunched together the defender medals that we need to make a proper start on... Uh, what's it called? The Eternia Crystal event? Um, so what I learned the hard way this run, because I've never, never really tried to do it in hard mode before, is you'd better hoard a bunch of at least 25 Defender Medals um, before hard mode starts if you want to do this. Um, because as it is, even with really good gear, it's not realistically possible to beat Wave 5. And that's because you need sentries. And the sentries that you can get before hard mode, uh, they are like little toys against the enemies that come in uh, from the portals as soon as you've unlocked hard mode. Ow! 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 No. Bad. Bad, Tim. How rude. If that was a rune wizard, we'd just be dead. Uh, let's grab this fire blossom since it's... Uh, since it's blooming. I don't think I would have even noticed if not for Tim. Oh, and I almost forgot. No, I didn't. I did do the notification. Fantastic. Alright, so Fire Blossom Seed, get in there. Um, I don't think we're going to be running out of Fire Blossom anytime soon. Although, Blink Root is always a problem. I think I probably should have made a much bigger farm for it somewhere. Maybe I should. Um, because Blink Root, uh, it doesn't all bloom at once, it's very random. So you can't do one big harvest, like with everything else. Uh, I did get the sandstorm, so that we could get, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Forbidden Fragments from the desert. Um, I did make the full armor set, and also this thing, which is pretty crappy, honestly. Spirit Flame. You throw out these, uh, these purple things that'll just hang in the air until they become a homing missile, if something comes close enough. But they don't move very fast and they don't hang in the air for very long, so they're actually pretty terrible uh, at filling the particular niche that that spell might fill. So, never mind. Um, but yeah... With this armor set, we get a good amount of magic damage, um, but also plus two minions, and we can uh, also make this little thing happen. Uh, it's a spell. It does cost a little bit of mana, but not a whole lot. What is it 20? The blood moon is rising. Hmm... That throws a little wrench in my plans. Um, let's get ourselves some deadly spheres. And I'd like to supplement that with a couple of sanguine bats. Um, where was I keeping this thing? Here we go. Celestial shell. We can breathe underwater indefinitely with this. If we're going to have a Blood Moon, um, we may as well farm some sharks. Here comes one now. 
Um, but yeah, so we get plus two minions from the armor, plus three if we have this thing, um, plus 16% damage without any specialization, uh, plus 4% damage, plus 15% magic damage, and uh, all that adds up to a pretty nice balance of five minions maximum if we've got the... what was it, five? I think it's five. Five minions maximum when we have Bewitched, um, but also good magic damage and high mana. Very, very nice. Hey, Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a nice emote. TP for fun. Um, the sharks are being a bit... That is a lot of jellyfish. That is a lot of jellyfish. Are you winning, son? I've got the gear together uh, to start maybe actually making some progress on the hard mode Eternia crystal thingy. And I was thinking uh, maybe with that we could get better hybrid gear. I mean, I definitely want to try out the hybrid gear. Um, it will cost quite a lot of metals, but maybe we can farm them at a decent rate. Depending on how far we can get. How many fins do we have right now? I think I'm completely out of hunter potions and I need to make some more, so... I know I've got like at least six at home. But if we spend a few minutes here farming sharks, I won't need to... I won't need to do it again um, for quite a while, because the spawn rate is so much higher here. Speaking of which, um, now would be a good time for a battle potion, I guess. Have you killed Herobrine yet? Herobrine... I, th I would say yes. I was just thinking, what's the parallel to Herobrine? It's probably the Rune Wizard. And I'm currently wearing his stuff. The legend of Herobrine is he stalks the player, right? The Rune Wizard just appears out of nowhere. Uh, and can kill you very, very quickly. If you're not paying attention. Okay, um, we'll give this maybe, I was going to say a couple more minutes, but it's only four and a half more minutes until daytime. We could do some fishing, I guess, but then we're probably not going to get half as many sharks. That's what I really came here for. Ow. Um, so after we get some medals, I'll see how fast we can get them. I need to go back into the dungeon to get a tactical shotgun and or do the frost moon event until we get the chain gun. Uh, then we have some good DPS with homing bullets. Um, and we'll try and kill Empress of Light again today. And once we do get Empress of Light, we're probably heading... We're probably moving on to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Probably moving on to the endgame. Although I do want to kill every boss. 
uh, with this run. I'll have to double check what I haven't killed yet. We haven't done the Martian event, that's one thing. I think there's like 10 uh, relics that I don't have yet, but some of them are a bit... I, I think a few of them are probably still from the Eternia Crystal event. Is that a shark banner? It is. There's nowhere to put it. What does this thing do? 66 damage. 63 versus 90. The spheres are stronger and they do hit multiple enemies, but the bats are just so much more reliable in going after things. Oh, and I got a jungle key as well, so we'll be opening that, uh, the jungle chest in the dungeon. Put off shopping for too long and ran out of drinks? Rip. like me every third week. What are we up to? Just over a minute to go. Me as well. Once it's morning, we'll go to the Eternia Crystal in about 30 seconds. How many fins did we get? 28! That's actually fantastic. Uh, that's probably the last time we need to farm shark fins. Because uh, we've got the alchemy table, so we're going to get more than 28, um, we're going to get more than a stack of, uh, hunter potions out of this. Okay, um, let's put this back. And jellyfish necklace, I guess we've already got that somewhere. Um, put away this dye, just in case I want to mix it with something else. Oh, we got the diving helmet. That's cool, but it's kind of outdated at this point. I'll make it anyway. Diving helmet. Wait, what does this combine with? I think we need a flipper. Yeah, Flipper makes diving gear. And then we can combine it with the jellyfish necklace. And it's still a material. Ice skates. Well, I don't particularly feel like farming for ice skates just to throw this into the collection, so this is fine. Alright, so, the, I don't know, I think, I, I imagine this is available as soon as you start hard mode, I could be wrong, and this is probably post Plantera, I forgot to check, but Right here, we've got 25, 41, 36, and 6 
damage from our different sentries. That's nowhere near enough um, to progress through the hard mode Eternity Crystal stuff. Oh my god, three gold for this? I really wish I hoarded a few more of these before I started hard mode. Um, but yeah, let's start with... I feel like doing the uh, Lightning Aura. So we got Rod, Kane, and Staff. Kane is the middle one. A hundred Defender Medals for the best one. I'm gonna go for this for now. Um, it's not a material or anything. I don't... Yeah, it's so weak I'm not even gonna keep the old sentries at this point, I think. Although apparently I can't sell them. Here we go. Then again, there's no reason to. It's so little money. And there's a little utility in it, like providing a bit of light at the very least, or I could give it to another player. Another player character, that is. Oh, that's a lot of crap. Let's put that away first. Ninja Tabai. Uh... Oh, we need all three. We need the climbing claws to make use of this, I think. Yes. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Another morning star? Shark banner. Can go in here. What was that? That's not a banner. Um, I know I've got another one of these somewhere. Let's just sell it. Why do I have dungeon brick? Oh, and I got some paladin hammers. I was looking for the tactical shotgun. Still haven't found... Oh my goodness. Um, does this work with auto swing? Auto swing for melee weapons. It does. 110 melee damage. I wouldn't be surprised if it pierces. Let's check the... Oh yeah. 24... 2400 DPS and we're not even wearing melee gear. That's pretty strong. Alright, let's put this away for now. And if we pick up some, if we pick up some melee build in a bit, that's going to be fun. Also, here is a, yet another Kraken. <laughs> I should have just sold that. Dark Caster Banner... I should really organize these as well. I was thinking maybe if I don't find a tactical shotgun or something pretty soon, um, I was thinking of trying a melee build to kill the Empress of Light. Because we've got the beetle armor. I think if I... I just need to farm some turtle shells, which unfortunately we don't have any. Um, but it, we can actually make, I think, the tankiest armor in the game at this point. And I've also got the Paladin Shield, if, as if that's not enough. Yeah, so we have to make uh, Turtle Leggings, Scale Mail, and Helmet. And then combine it with this stuff. Um, it's a somewhat rare drop. From the jungle turtles, the turtle shell. Alright, but for now we've got... Not the most powerful, but a good area under this sentry. 
So let's see if we can't make a dent in the old one's army. Grab some of these crystals. I did, I did hold a bunch of them, just not as much as I'd like to be super comfortable. Okay. Um, let's get all of our buffs first, actually. And we want... As many deadly spears as possible, and then swap it out for a couple of sanguine bats. Uh, is that not how this works? Never mind. Um, where's my deadly sphere gone? Deadly sphere. Two sanguine bats. Many deadly spheres. Okay, and one more sanguine bat. Alright, so that works. Let's get started then. So we're limited with the number of sentries we can have by this um, green mana. That drops from some of these enemies. Now that our sentries actually do some damage, we might be able to beat wave 5. Need two more. There it is. Do they take damage while they're underground like that? Oh, it doesn't look like they do. Oh, no. That was a little bit of a waste. Maybe I should just clear that uh, kill next time. You can't do any digging or anything, uh, placing blocks while this event is active. going over the hill this time. I wonder what the difference is. And now when I look at them, they're dropping underneath. Uh-oh. Uh, let me just pause it real quick. And mute my browser noises. There we go. Alright, well this is already going smoother, I think. Um, we need, we've got seven seconds to pick up the mana. One more over here, and I missed three over here, fantastic, oh wait, I'm still missing one, give it back, oh my, really? I didn't think just bumping into one of the little ones would do that much damage, I just wanted this one piece of 
Oh no. That's unfortunate. Okay, so those things hit really, really hard. That was a goblin, by the way. That just two shot me. Uh, how many? We only got one. We got one defender medal because I didn't even beat wave five this time. Or wave four. Let's try again. Um, as soon as I heal up. Get my buffs back on. Uh, let's see, Sanguine Staff and... There we go. Um, health please, there we go. How many potions do I want to use? Defense. As long as I don't, like, stupidly ro smash into them. I haven't seen anything that really hunts the player with this. It's more about... It's more like a tower defense. Um, I think it's mainly just damage, which I can buff with this. So I don't want to waste too many potions and stuff. Why are they falling through the ground like that? Still not doing a whole lot of damage to the sentries that we do have. Maybe I should have skipped the 25. I mean... It would be a bit of a grind to get to 100 just to pick up one of these sentries, but maybe it's necessary. Maybe post-Plantera, they're just that strong. And I should have done this before Plantera. If that's the case, then I pretty much just wasted 25 Defender Medals. And it's going to be a hell of a grind to get a hundred. I think we can get four each time if I get to wave four. And that's actually a bit difficult. So I would have to do that 25 times with no mistakes. Unfortunate. Alright, where's the rest? There we go. One and a two. Let's bully the ones on this side first. about enough of that. Oop, too long. They, are, they actually are taking some damage. I think that's because my minions are bullying them over on the left side as well, though. It's about time to up our damage. Fantastic. If I overlap these with each other, is it going to stack the damage or no? 
I wonder. There's a boss. I think it always comes from the left. I could be wrong. Actually, I think it always comes from the left in the pre-hard mode one, but not necessarily the hard mode one. Ow. Oh, that really hurt. Wow. Okay. Let's do regen iron scheme. I don't want to die. One boss down. There's at least one more. That enemy that I didn't even see hurt quite a lot. Hey, my clap. Good to see you again. Oh, well, I'm well Hope you're doing well. Oh, I just missed. I just prevented it from dealing damage to the crystal. What wave are we on? Four. Okay, cool. So we got at least four. Eternia crystals this time. I can't quite get that one. I can't put another sentry down. Oh, that's that's concerning. That's a big one. Would you please die? Thank you. I'm a bit worried about whatever that is as well. Oh, crap. I don't think we can beat this wave. Let's try and prove ourselves wrong. That looks scary. Oh, okay. Alright, we're pushing him back. That's another big one. At least he doesn't do that much damage to the crystal. Yet. Oh, that looks bad. Also, I might die if I'm not very careful. No! Alright, at least the little dragon things we can prevent- Oh, what is that? Ow. Ow. It's not over yet. Wait, it's already on wave 6. I didn't get a breather. No. On the plus side, we beat wave 5. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's getting uncomfortable. Um... Could you be persuaded to stop? Pretty please. Nope. I thought you were supposed to build things. Uh, no, you can't build while you, while this event is active. You can't dig or place anything. Oh, we have 16 defender medals. Okay. So what did we get? Um, 12 more. We got 12 more by beating one more wave. So getting to 100 is not looking as unrealistic. Well, not unrealistic. Grindy. Alright, cool. Let's go stack this stuff away. This game sure has a lot of combat. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, it does. Uh... Dark Mage Trophy. Sure, why not? Alright. I don't really want to do that again back to back. But what's the alternative? Frost Moon? Uh, Pumpkin Moon? Looking for tactical shotgun in the dungeon that never, ever, ever wants to drop. Let's do a Frost Moon. What 
time is it? It's a little bit late. Well, it, we'd only get two minutes of Frost Moon if I activated it now. We could do Fisher on again. Uh, pirates. There's some stuff that we haven't got from the pirates, and they give us a ton of money. So let's do that. Take a moment before they get here. Um, I don't think I really need it. You know what? Grav potions are cheap at this point. I would rather waste a bit of that than die embarrassingly. Because I needed to avoid the ground. Um, we don't need any more of these or these. I should have put the naughty present away. Pirates are approaching from the west. And here they come. With this kind of DPS, it's pretty easy to deal with them. Just have to make sure we hit the ones that have guns or bows. Wow, this is more brutal than I expected. Now, but on the other hand, they can two or three shot us if we're not careful. Alright, let's use our buffs. Let's not mess around. We're kind of a glass cannon. Oh yeah, that's what I said I'd do. Um, I was going to go get the turtle shells. We'll do it after this one. Hmm, with the distance that I'm keeping from them, maybe I should have gone all in on... Uh, all in on sanguine bats. They're not that tanky as well. Swap that out. Deadly Sphere. All the bats. Fantastic. got no auto potion drinking thing because there's a bit of a shortage on accessory slots if we're playing a hybrid mage and summoner. And it's not that big of a deal to press a button to drink a potion. Also with the uh, celestial emblem uh, picking up the mana stars from far away, um, it's really easy to stay in mana unless it's a boss fight. It's also a point that whenever you drink a mana potion, you get a damage debuff for magic damage. Oh, we already beat them. Wow. Uh, I've got potion buffs still. Let's do it again. Keep the momentum. Maybe we'll get a coin gun or something. We'd use that against uh, Empress of Light. Let's stack this crap away. Gaudy stuff goes in the gaudy chest. Pirate crossover. Crossbow. Yoink. And 
my void bag is full as well. What's this? Just money. Alright, let's re-up our buffs from the stations. And pirates up here. Damn, those bats are aggressive. A night bag. Good to see you again. A oh, well welcome, if you don't mind. Pew pew pew. Fine thanks. Fantastic. Your weapon is a bit loud over you? Yeah, it's the Razor Blade Typhoon. That's just how it is. I can turn it down a little bit. I guess. Uh, where am I going? Oh, here it is. Sound... 7%? Oh! Uh, Lana, there we go. Let's not die this way. That would be embarrassing. Oh! Okay. Okay. Tell it to be quiet? I can't. Maybe I could mod it to be a little bit quieter. Typhoon's pretty strong against that thing. Oh, we beat them again. Wow. We still got like two minutes on some of these buff potions. Uh, we'll skip the next one. Not skip it, Let, let's just do that later. Alright, let's put all this crap away. Um, golden dresser. Golden sofa. I'll put the defender medals down here so they're not using up my inventory space. get the treasure mag oh where should I there we go treasure magnet go burr golden bed um I think we get SFA money out of this yep golden chandelier what the Let's just drink this. Alright. I want to keep at least one of each golden thing, if only for quick stack. Um... So 
sell this. Sell these. Maybe keep that. Give me a good price. That's not a whole lot, actually. How much do we have? 10 plat, that's pretty good. Um, I might just get rid of this. Turn your crystals back in here. Let's go get those turtle shells. Would it be faster to find turtles up here or down in the underground jungle, I wonder? We could get some fishing done here while we're at it. Oh, I forgot to empty the void bag. Uh, that's a lot. Oh, and I didn't make hunter potions. Let's do that as well. But not before we get a chance at an Uzi there. Um, so how many shark fins do we have? 62. Okay. I don't think we even needed um, to farm sharks last time. We still got 39 after making an entire stack. Banners that don't do anything, but come for the crystal thingies. Go in here. Loot all. Quick stack. Loot all. Sell these spares. Ogre mask. Fantastic. Uh, Ogre's Club summons a baby ogre. Oh, Ridiculous. Uh, that's a gold lantern. Don't need more ogre relics. What else am I selling from here? Um, we're definitely keeping the paladin shield. I've got a million of these. I'm not selling that. Don't know why I had that here. I think that goes in my safe, actually. Yeah. Don't know why I had it in my inventory. Still. Name it Shrek? I could give it green dye. Um, except I already sold the thing that summons the pet. I wonder if... Green dye going in the pet slot. Uh, does it make him green? It does. I dub the Shrek. Okay. Uh, what else are we selling? This and this and this. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Already got that. Don't really need that. Got a million of those. here. Plus one minion again. And I was going to go get... Oh yeah, yeah, we've sorted our inventory now. 
I was gonna go get turtle shells. Oh, it flies. Okay. Normally you can't walk three feet without a turtle spawning and potentially one-shotting you, but since we're looking for turtles, we can be assured that they will not appear. I'm glad to see this actually worked to stop the corruption from spreading into the jungle. Yeah, maybe we should go to the underground jungle. I don't... I think we're going to get way more derplings than turtles this way. What are your walls made of in your base? Uh, stone... Oh, there's a turtle. Not stone brick, stone slab. You need a heavy workbench. Um, and it's just... You just turn stone into that. Alright, let's go to the un uh, underground jungle, I guess. It's a bit more dangerous, but... We'll probably get more turtles that way. We can fall faster with the slime mount. It's night time. Oh, um, come to think of it, we're probably gonna- wait, that's not where I meant to go. Uh, we're probably gonna get much faster spawns. Nighttime jungle is- can be scary. This seems as good a spot as any. I could take a battle potion, or maybe put down... Are we ready for Martians? Probably... I'm scared. I probably shouldn't have done that. Actually, now that I think about it, did killing it not summon them? Does it have to scan us first? It probably had to scan us first. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. It's fine. What is that? Nothing much. Let's put some torches down. As is light. There's our turtle friend. Still haven't got a shell. We need three, at least. I don't think I've got a single shell this entire run. I was wondering why that star was taking so long to fall. Let's put down a workbench, and we can put down a water candle, so we get more enemies. Give me turtle shell. No turtle shell. Turtle shell. Two or three to go. 
I think the only reason we would want four is so that we can try both variations of the turtle armor, or the beetle armor. But, um, I think if I'm gonna wear that armor, I want the tanky version regardless. So we'll probably just stop at three unless we get the last... Uh, unless we go from two to four really quickly. Still haven't had an Uzi drop from the Angry Trappers either, but that is a rare drop. We're way past an Uzi being good at this point anyway. I keep forgetting I can also do this, but it's pretty hard to get value out of it, honestly. So, double tap up from this set. Oh, I should probably stay closer to the water candle as well. So we got the extra spawns. I'm not sure how a turtle is supposed to reach me with these bats. And I don't find at all. The only trouble with uh, looking for enemies where there's all this water is we keep getting these giant fish. I mean, they are very easy to kill and they drop a bit of money, but we're probably going to get a banner for them in a second. Did I already find it? I did. Um, we have another chance to summon the Martians if we want to. Should I do it? I don't think we're ready. Let's do it. Why should I fight them? Oh, another turtle shell. Um... Pretty much anywhere, I guess. Away from town. Oh! Okay, I can take more damage from those turtles than I thought. I think it's probably because it wasn't doing a... doing an attack. When it does its little spinny launch thing, it does way more damage, I think. Like that! Here come the Martians. Let's turn off the water candle. Or are they only going to attack at, at a town or something? I might have to go to town to fight them. Maybe I should have finished my turtle armor before doing this. It's probably fine. Here they come. Alright, so far so good. This is hardly as dangerous as they get though. Putting down those damn sentries. Uh, let's buff up. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna take the Martians lightly. I 
think we might actually be fine because we've got a lot of damage. It's a lot harder to avoid damage from them when you can't kill them fast enough. We're actually one third of the way through already. I haven't seen any flying sources yet though. That's when it gets a bit more interesting. I'm really liking this hybrid armor. I think, um... Hybrid Summoner and something else makes the most sense, honestly. Because you've got hands-free attacks while using some strong regular attacks. Oop, that's not what I meant. I mean, that was what I meant to do, actually. Double tap up makes that sandstorm thingy, but tapping up is grab potion. <laughs> So it's a little bit disorienting. Oh, there's our there's our friend. Ow. Ow. Jeez. I need to get to the ground so I can reset my flight time. And then we need to not be underneath it. Because of that. What just hit me? Ow. Oh boy. Nope, 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 nope. How high is it gonna go? It's just gonna keep going. Oh no. Oh no. I seem to be able to outrun it with dash though. Okay. We might be fine actually. I think I could have, uh, if it came closer one more time, I think it would have caught me, but I could have doubled back instead. Not so bad when you have the right movement uh, buffs. I'm finding the pet a little distracting, not gonna lie. Here's our friend again. Ow. That did more damage than I expected. Uh oh. Where is it? Ow. Jeez. That's more effective. I'm out of mana. Fantastic. A little bit more Martian. And we're done. Probably... I was gonna say probably not another saucer. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Alright. That's a bit scary. I wanted to pick up those hearts, but it was a little too dangerous. Having all this flight from the fish run brings uh, really, really, really helps. What was that? Oh no, no! That was way too close. What hit me? 
something on the ground, I think. Okay, let's collect our spoils. You have wind, indeed. Charged blaster cannon. Fantastic. Alright, let's see what we've got. Um, I need one more turtle shell to make that tank armor work. Um, we don't need more copies of yellow. Don't need a trapper kite. We've got plenty of this stuff. Um, I'm not selling a mud block. That goes in here somewhere. Giant tortoise banner. I'll keep that handy for our turtle farm. Xeno popper. I've heard that's good. Ranged damage. Um, yeah, this thing. I think it uses musket balls, weirdly enough. Where's my ammo stuff? Is it in here? Bottomless ammo pouch. Where? Uh-oh. I can easily make another one. But I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. Oh, Xenopopper might be what we need to kill Empress. As opposed to, like, the tactical shotgun or something. Uh, why can't I find my ammo bag, though? Sort. I guess we're making another one. Yeah, I... Maybe I'm blind, but I don't see it anywhere. CBC is broken? CBC. Oh, I got two Xeno poppers as well. Um, what's CBC? Alright, let's just make... I, I need to empty my inventory out a bit first. Okay, Martian Saucer. One more boss relic down. We've already done the Flying Dutchman. You know, with this kind of DPS, the Martians actually weren't that much more dangerous than the pirates. Um, let's put away... Actually, I want to see what this looks like. Martian Conduit Plating. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't like what it does to the border of the gem spark blocks, though. I'm using these red team bricks uh, specifically because of how it's not just a one big block of white for the light source block. I was going to put this all the way down the elevator, but I never got around to it. We can make some other stuff from Martian Conduit Plating as well. Alright, stack this stuff away. These two can go in here. What's this? Strong Influx Waver. It's another one of those beam swords. Oh, and it's a material. I'm guessing for the final sword? Yeah. Zenith. Alright, so you can go over here. Don't really need a breaker blade at this point. Uh, Rasmodi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Uh, what do you mean by CBC? 
Russian uniform pants. Superior charged, but oh, charged blaster cannon. And it's magic damage as well. I vaguely remember what this is like. Yes, I think this was patched. From the from what I remember, uh, you would shoot a few shots out like that, and then it would do its beam thing, and then the beam was stuck facing one direction. Um, but apparently it's not like that anymore. Let's see what kind of DPS we get out of it. Number do indeed go up. 8,874. Uh, yeah, that would be a little bit strong against, like, the Destroyer. It got buffed, indeed. It also doesn't take that long to get going. Hmm, I think this... Didn't this used to pierce? What? I think this might fill the niche that I was using for slot 3 a bit better as well. Um, it's already superior. It's probably pretty expensive to reroll, right? 21 gold. Um, I mean, we've got... We've got 13 plat. Still, superior's like not bad or anything. Oh, well, we've got two of them. Let's keep the superior one. And we'll try re-rolling this. 13 gold base re-roll. Deranged, murderous, sluggish, forceful, mythical. Well, we did it. I wish we had that kind of luck re-rolling the snowman cannon. Um, but we have had some really good luck with some things, just not others. What's our deeps like now? It's almost 9,000. Almost. Nice. Alright, um, I don't need a Bat-Bat. Wait, do we not have one? Alright, we'll have one Bat-Bat for the collection. And then... And then what? Uh, then we're looking for turtles. Oh, 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 I forgot. Almost. Um, let's get some musket balls. We need four stacks. And then one of these. A crystal bolt. Endless musket pouch. And I guess I must have quick stacked the Xeno Popper. Yeah, here it is. Can you bring it up over 9,000 just for the meme? I believe I can. Magic power potion. Marshall, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And it is indeed significantly over 9,000. In fact, it's over 10,000. Uh, I'm guessing no matter how many... I'm guessing no matter how many target dummies we had here, it would pierce all of them. How do you display these armors? That is cute. Uh, if you go to the uh, sawmill with wood plus... No, it's just wood. Uh, you can make a mannequin or womanikin. Slurpus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, Xeno Popper. Um, 
So how does this work? I think it's... Yeah. It shoots out these bubbles. And they activate after just a moment. And all of them shoot one bullet at... It's always four, right? It looks like sometimes it's five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, four, 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 five. Okay. So that's four or five times 57 range damage. Uh, what's our deeps before we give it a... Eight hundred-ish. So it's like double Mega Shark thereabouts. Cool, thank you. No worries. I think that's about the same as our sniper rifle. Um, although we did have Unreal on the sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure if you use um, Chlorophyte bullets, they'll seek as well. We can give this a try. Godly? Hell yes. Uh, since we've got two, we'll hold on to the godly prefix. And we'll re-roll the basic one. Also, you didn't get the golem eye? Uh, I did. This It just didn't fit that well in the accessories that I was picking for hybrid mage and summoner. But we'll probably use that again when we switch back to ranged. I'm hoping to get uh, maybe Unreal out of this. Oh, that's the exact type of turtle that we need to kill for a very, very rare drop. Let's give it a go if we can. If I can get there without it despawning, that is. Why don't I dig through here? Well, that's one reason. to kill this from here. I don't have any rockets. Oh, here we go. Magic missile. There we go. And unsurprisingly, it did not drop its 1% uh, frozen shell or whatever it's called. Okay. You can combine it with the Avenger emblem. Indeed. Uh, I did do that already. We've got one or two of those over here. Destroyer emblem. I actually had a menacing one and I accidentally used it up to make... Uh, what was it? The scope thingy. Where is it? Let's see, it's around here somewhere. Uh, menacing sniper scope. There we go. Yeah, I accidentally used up a menacing one of those. And then I tried re-rolling to get menacing back on the second one and lost literally all of my money. Unfortunate. Oh, we got two godly Xeno poppers now. Figures. Oh, and there it is. Unreal. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I won't bother swapping armor just yet, but let's see what kind of deeps we get on this. Over a thousand? Thirteen hundred at peak. That's actually pretty good. I think we can kill Empress of Light with this. I'll just confirm... Uh, we take Chlorophyte bullets. They will, in fact, seek enemies. Where do my minions go? 
Did I die? I don't remember dying. Since the alien invasion. I hear enemy. Okay, I didn't aim it properly, but those are indeed homing bullets. I think we can actually... Yeah, you can shoot the bubbles up in one direction and have the bullets from them go in a different direction. That's pretty neat, actually. I want to see the Empress fight. I failed hard last night with my rogue. Fair enough. Um, I would like to go get that one more... Uh, turtle shell and make the melee armor before we do. If we fail the ranged, I'm going to try tanky melee next. Um, also, what is lime kelp? Oh, it's used to make dye. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, Schlerpus, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think I've got pink ice dashed away here somewhere. There we go. And lime dye. That's our first lime dye, actually. Alright. I was going to take the banners put them somewhere as I accidentally got rid of them. Oh, here they are. Also, we got a Martian uniform torso. It's kind of neat. Okay. Back to the jungle. They home after touching the ground and have a much higher base damage. Nano bullets. I didn't know they do that. I thought they just do confuse. Oh, oh. And that's how you die to turtle. Um. Hunter potion. Oh, all of a sudden there's monsters everywhere. Oh, what happened to my minions, by the way? Let's make sure our buffs are refreshed. Fantastic. Now it's going to be pretty hard for turtles to touch us. A home after touching the ground. That's not so useful with Empress of Light, but... So when you say home, do you mean they like crystal darts aim themselves at enemies after touching the ground, or they're actually homing bullets after they touch the ground. I never find myself using this blizzard staff as strong as it is. Forgot about that precisely. Okay, fair enough. That's a lot of fishies. And that's a turtle. Uh, 
that's our third turtle shell, I think. Another Arabrima banner. Alright, if we get... I've still got buffs, I may as well use them. I'd like to get one more turtle shell. So we can compare the two sets. Angry Trapper banner? Where can I fit it? Like here? Chaos Candle... make it spicy? Yeah. It's like a free... Uh, battle potion that's just there forever. Um, I can kill this with the sentry thing. Doesn't need any line of sight to place it. It'll take a while, though. <laughs> It'll really take a while. Oh, it's... yeah, Derplings means it's daytime. And we're not gonna get nearly as many turtles. Alright, let's... let's get going in that case. Stack the things away. Uh, banners go here. I think we've got too many lenses to quick stack this now. Let's make... Uh, I need two more of these, actually. Whoops. I think at least two. No? How do I make... Oh, it's... It's in here somewhere. There we go. Mechanical Eye. Soul of Light. What was I doing? Oh yeah, turtle armor. Finally. I think we need chlorophyte. Uh, that's not a problem though. Because we've got chlorophyte farms. Uh, 30... 54. That is an amount. We need another... 35, I think. Does the candle work in the dungeon? Yes, it does. Um, that's why you should probably... Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the only use of the turtle shells as well. Uh, that's why you should remove all of the... Um, water candles if you... If you want to make it relatively safe. Alright, what was I doing? Oh yeah, chlorophyte. So right down here we've got our first... I meant to get some mud first. Mud is here. Uh, it's a 7x7 block and most of it gets filled with chlorophyte. If we just have it far enough away from other chlorophyte. Nice and easy. I'm absolutely loving these sanguine bats. Battle Potion, Zerg Potion, and Water plus Chaos Candle. That was crazy. Zerg Potion? Is there a second kind of Battle Potion? Uh, I was putting this here so I can do this more easily. There we go. I guess it'll grow back faster if I leave a line like that, and it's easy to harvest. Uh, 
Give me the... Nope, never mind. I was going to say the Rod of Discord. And then we've got one down here. We need 35 times 5 chlorophyte ore to finish our total set. What do we got? 150. That's not that much yet. Unless I miscalculated. Oh, I took one too many. There we go. Uh, hello? There we go. My game crashed when I used AoE. I've never had Terraria crash. What on earth did you do? Ow. Don't know why the bats were asleep that time. Too much damage, I'm out. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ow. Oh, that actually does decent damage right from the start. I should try using it more. I love the uh, honey bucket as like a free cheap ass healing potion. last one. Alright, we've got one more. Giant bat banner. Yes, please. I love this weapon. <laughs> you be persuaded to stop. Thank you. Almost died as well. I think it was because I hit one of those tiny little spore things. They can be quite hard to see like that. Alright. Uh, can we go? There we go. Take the hearts, thank you. And... Chlorophyte bow. We have 74. Fantastic. Turtle armor. Helmet. Scale mail. Leggings. I never went further than Providence. I couldn't beat her. Providence? What is Providence? Uh, Alright, so what do we get from this set? Our armor goes up to 77, just like that. And I'm wearing a lot of, like, plus damage gear as well. 6% uh, increased melee damage. Enemies more likely to attack you. That doesn't do anything unless it's multiplayer. Reduces damage taken by 15% and attackers... Oh, wow. I forgot about this. Attackers take double damage? Um, that's kind of neat. I actually really enjoyed playing with uh, Actus Armor at the beginning of the game.
These poor sharks. They're actually not even scratching me. I've got a shark banner here somewhere, I think, so... Uh, so we're benefiting from that buff as well, but still, that was ridiculous. Meow Gumin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. She is a profaned goddess calamity mod. Okay, I thought it might be calamity. I'll definitely be trying that probably right after this playthrough. Um, unless I come up with a different challenge. No, I think I would. I think I would like to do a calamity playthrough right after this one, regardless. Actually, I've actually never played it, so we'll be going in blind. Poor slimes. Um, but yeah, in master mode, we don't want to really be taking damage if we can help it. Um, so we get 6% increased melee damage, thorns, 4% melee critical strike, 8% increased melee damage, and crit. No movement? I guess that's not surprising. Alright, let's have a look at the upgraded version. Uh, there's two versions of this set. One has less defense and, I guess, more movement and DPS. But the one I'm interested in is the tanky one. It's 23 defense, 6% increased melee damage. 5% increased melee damage and crit, 32 defense, 18 defense, 6% increased melee and movement speed, enemies more likely to target you, and also beetles protect you from damage. Um, I believe the way this works is you get up to three of them and they refresh after just a short amount of time, uh, and each one of them reduces the damage that you take for one hit. And it's actually pretty substantial. Also, we have 85 defense. Um, yeah, even in even in master, that is nothing to scoff at. All right, but I think we will try. It'll either be hallowed or shroomite. Oh, I didn't actually make a Shroomite set for bullets. Um, I absolutely love the Snowman Cannon, but it's not boss fight material. It's not the best DPS you can have for one-on-one. -on -one. So, we either make another... Helmet, or we use the Hallowed set, which is just a bit less damage. It's actually not that much less damage, but being able to take one hit and just ignore damage every 30 seconds is actually pretty insane. Um, where do I make the Shroomite, though? Do I need the hammer? There we go. How many of these do I need? Oh, and I didn't make the digging claws. We need 18 for that. Okay. Um, mask is 12. So we need 30. Which means we need more chlorophyte. Let's make the digging claws first. Whoops. Uh... Yeah, here we go. So that is pickaxe and axe. I'm pretty sure 210, 125, 200, 125. Can we not break like temple blocks with this? 
I don't think I care. I can just put that away anyway. Well, I guess... I, now that I think of it, I need more Chlorophyte. Um, it's going to take a minute for our farm to grow it. We could go to the jungle. Maybe find our last turtle shell. Let's get our minions back. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it... Uh, also, let's get some... Magic potions. Magic power. Mana regen. We're also short on Night Owl. Uh, life Force takes a bit of fishing to get. So does Endurance Potion. I can get both of those at the same time, fishing down with Demolitionist is. I'm not too worried about that for the moment, though. I want to try... Oh, wait. I want to try this uh, Tower Defense thing with the energy beam. It's just going to pierce through everything. Oh, but first, we see blink fruit, we harvest blink fruit, no hesitation. Wait, why is it hitting nothing? Wow. I think... I think we've got a chance to beat a few more waves. Even though we don't have strong sentries. Wow. <laughs> that actually makes the Razor Blade Typhoon look weak. Although it fills a different uh, niche, obviously. But especially when enemies are so obliging as to all line up for us like this. Three K DPS last time we did anything. Why what is it hitting? that I don't get that line of sight from that position. I can even just swap direction from the middle. That is so strong. Look at it go. It's basically the... Uh, it's basically just a weaker version of, what is it called, Final Prism or something that you only get from the Moon Lord? I'm really glad I did the Martian event. Oh my god, it one-shot one of those things. And that was without all of the initial part hitting it as well. This is insane. It doesn't use that much mana either.
Holy crap. Uh-oh. Ow. Let's not die this way. I hope I can save the crystal. Ooh, it's close. It's so close. Did we get it? We got to wave four at least. I need to be a bit more mindful of hitting each side equally. It's over. I think it's over. Yep. Still. The downtime between beams is actually pretty significant with that scenario, but my goodness, the damage. If we can just get a. If we can just get one of the top tier um, sentries, then we can probably get really, really far with this now. Okay. Stack these things away. For a moment. Um, and I need some more chlorophyte. I think all of my spelunking potions are in here. That's where I put the musket pouch. Oh well. Now we know. You know what? We don't need two of these laying around. Just sell that. Um, this goes here. So what do we need? Like 12 times 5 chlorophyte. And some. Oh, that's nice and fast. Already got maximum life fruit. Goodness, it didn't even get a chance for the beam to get close to getting started. This would probably be really... S I mean, yeah, it would be really, really strong against Plantera. So I said I was looking for 12 bars, right? Uh, so 60 chlorophyte? We're actually most of the way there already. Also, I didn't find this before. Yes, I did. Never mind.
Brits almost like the sniper rifle with those second types of shots, the little AOE piercing ones. got 74 chlorophyte ore, that should already be enough. I think it ended up in here. And we need 12. Uh, give me that mushroom. We need 12 of these. I might actually run out of mushroom here. Oh no, whatever will I do? Pretty sure I have another stack here somewhere, and if I don't, it takes like a minute to get it from the glowing mushroom biome. Yeah, let's just do that. Where is the nearest glowing mushroom biome? Let's go down here, actually. The Razor Blade Typhoon is easier to use most of the time. So the use case for the uh, CBC is a bit specific. Alright, how many mushrooms we got? We need like 15 times 12. Typhoon is nice and quick. No hesitation. If nothing else, I'm sure it's a giant laser is enough of a use case for some people. Yes, indeed. Rubber first laps. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many mushrooms did I just get? 240. Um, 300 means we've got enough for 20 bars. So I think we've got enough already. Okay. Uh, quick stack. We needed 12 of these. We want the mask. Fantastic. I don't think another. I need another Boza. Do I have a bandage? I think we gain a bit cash-wise if we combine it. Whoops. Uh, stone slab. There we go. Okay, time to switch class. Shroomite mask. I think I'll put the hybrid summoner gear in the summoner area for now. Yeah. Whoops. I should definitely keep all of my gear that I keep actually switching in and out for each class in one chest. Mm. 
I'm keeping those utility spells no matter what class I'm playing. I might keep the Razorblade Typhoon, maybe even the Bubble Gun. Then again. I did kind of miss the reach of Toxic Harp and the lack of any need for Mana. Damage isn't that bad for a free weapon. It's more for hitting bats and things like that and creating a wall of bullets. Unreal Tsunami. Uh, Zeno Popper. Unreal Sniper Rifle. And... Where's our accessories? Oh, 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 oh. Actually, this is too many things, because I want the snowman cannon. I've got a spare snowman cannon that I can re-roll. Now that we've got some money. How much do we have? Nine plat. Unreal. Unreal. Give to me the unreal snowman cannon. Pretty please. Whenever you're ready. Unpleasant is a bit of a tease. Godly again. Murderous. Shoddy. Ruthless. Shoddy. Unreal. We got it. Okay. Um... I'm never using the rainbow rod anymore because it's low. Uh, it, because its damage is too low. I don't think there's... I don't, I don't think there's a better magic missile type weapon in the entire game. That's a bit unfortunate. I didn't even notice the traveling merchant came. We've already got spare DPS meters and lifeform analyzers. Um, so I think maybe Snipper Whiffle can go there. So now everything we've got is ranged, basically. Um, let's put the mage stuff away. And we're going to carry some... Arrows. I like cursed arrows. If I'm gonna do a single target DPS, that that's that's the reason I'm switching to the tsunami. I don't think I even need the endless quiver, to be honest. Whatever. Endless musket pouch. Uh we need some chlorophyte bullets. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I definitely want more than a stack just to be safe. Uh, and rockets. Since we're using three types of ammo, it's taking up a lot of inventory space. Yeah, maybe I'll just not carry the endless stuff. Um, alright, so we got rockets, we got unreal everything except for toxic carb, that's cool. Uh, we got rockets, chlorophyte bullets, cursed arrows. I don't need to carry gel in the ammo slots, actually. Let's put this back here. Okay. Um, I was going to swap out some accessories. We could do three accessories for damage if we really want to. Um, what was the other one? 
Avenger Emblem. Uh, we could even do four if we really wanted to, so we really have to make a choice here. Well, that's right, I was going to make another one of these Destroyer Emblems. I need to kill the Golem a random number of times to do that. It'll be a good warm-up. And where do we make... I think it's the Tinkerer's Workshop. Avenger Emblem. We got a warding one. We could swap that out if I want to be a little bit safer. How have we only... Oh. I was going to say, how do we only have 19 defense? Maybe because I'm half naked. 59 defense is actually pretty good. Um, I forgot also... We go all in... We pretty much go all in on one type of ranged damage here. Bullet explosives, um, rocket, or there might be a fourth one. That really disincentivizes us from carrying Tsunami, for example. Uh... Are we connected? What happened? Welcome to the chat room. Still got viewers, so we probably didn't disconnect. Who knows? I think I'll definitely skip out on the quiver. Having... We should be all in on bows or not. Since we need a slot specifically for arrow damage. We also don't need to take an archery potion if we do it like this. Um, and that saves us some ammo slots as well. Alright, let's get some more chlorophyte bullets. Uh, not a whole lot, actually. Wait, I'm able to make more of these? Uh, I need regular bullets to combine with the clarified bullet, uh, with the clarified bars. Still here, indeed. Horizon effect, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, Mulari, welcome, welcome also. Uh, alright, we need a mithril anvil. That's not a whole lot of ammo, but at least we have more than a stack now. We shouldn't come even close to going through a stack in one boss fight, though. I like to hoard the Rocket 3s, because you can only buy them at night. Where's the guide? Uh, yeah, so we need Eye of the Golem. Oh, we can also make Mechanical Glove, which I haven't made yet. But I would have to kill the Wall of Flesh again. If I'm going to make this first. Which I don't mind, but we have to find a Voodoo Demon to do that, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, I think we will kill Gollum, though. I arranged a little something so that that wouldn't take as long. Away we go. I could have done a teleporter as well, but whatever. This is actually pretty quick. And you could set it up before hard mode if you're so inclined. Okay, that took longer than I realized it would, but here we are. I definitely want to try out the ranged... Uh, ranged summoner hybrid here. Damn, that's strong. 
Um, let's save our good ammo for now, since this place is really not threatening. What? How? Why? Uh, you know what? I think I do want Razor Blade Typhoon in slot two. It's too familiar. And it's also... That's not Razor Blade Typhoon. You sneaky imposter. Casually dipping through lava in a high-speed Minecraft? Yes, indeed. You actually don't need to farm anything particularly difficult to get to do that, either. Um, there's a minecart that gives you the seven seconds of lava immunity. Oh, that's kind of weak now that we're wearing ranged gear. Hopper feels kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. So if I hit a wall with it, it still works. I don't want to waste any buff potions on killing these guys, they're really not very threatening. If you're able to get into the temple, then you're able to deal with the lizards very easily. Um, I guess I don't mind wasting rockets on them though. It's just money. So we're looking for power cells. I already got one. Can I not break this? There we go. Now. The Golem Arena is probably the best place to farm them, honestly. They do spawn very, very aggressively. So as soon as I go off screen from somewhere, you can expect them to appear. Hmm, this is not looking as effective as I expected. No, that's not too bad. We also get Mimics. Oh, Philosopher's Stone, I think that's our first. Uh, speaking of tanky builds, we can get the best regen item. Well, it, unless you count the one where you stand still and you regen like crazy. Uh, but you can combine that with the Ring of Regeneration, and... Okay, this area actually kind of sucks. Let's find a, a good corner. We killed the Golem nine times and only got two Golem thingamajigs that we're looking for last time. So we want to get like ten Lizard Cells if I can. Also, Aziz Light. Maybe I should wear the crystal armor until the boss fight. I do like the ranged mage uh, hybrid. I kind of like the little delay from the first shot, because it gives you time to... You can react as quick as you like, and then you've got plenty of time to aim. That's actually pretty strong.
Maybe I should just use the statues to spawn them. So I don't have to go back and forth. Ow. This thing's actually pretty accurate. It only has a spread because you maybe put the mouse cursor closer than the target or further away. Well, not really further away. I want to see if the... whoops. I want to see if the statues... Uh, if the lizards spawn from statues will drop these things. Because even if they are... Even if they have a reduced... Even if they have a reduced drop rate... probably going to be faster. Let's go grab some wire. And I'll put it over here. And let's see. Let's actually bring it over here so I can stop it if I want to. And then... What weapon should I use? Probably the... You know what? Let's get some high velocity bullets. So we need cogs. Whoops, 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 and furthermore, whoops. Uh, cogs. We could also try out the nanite bullets while we're at it. Oh, that only stacks to 99. I should probably bring a mithril... Uh, mithril anvil over here. I might have had a spare one somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's just make one more. Mithril... Anvil. Oh, right. Uh, how about here? And are we missing something? Musket ball, cog... Nanites. Uh, nanites. Workbench. And workbench. Well then. Wait, I want to see if we needed an anvil for any of these other ones. Uh, mithril anvil, mithril anvil, mithril anvil, mithril anvil. There you go. Hold on. Oh, it's not the musket balls, either. It's the empty... Empty bullet, I think. Venom, golden, exploding, nano, high velocity. Yes, indeed. How many... Sh it doesn't say... I don't think the high velocity pierces indefinitely, but it pierces at least a few. Uh, and this is... well, I was going to say what crafting station do we need, but it's pretty clearly a workbench. Um, we obviously have a workbench in each of these... Okay. So we got one stack of each of those types of ammo. Let's give them a try. Uh, my cup runneth over. Let's see. I want to see how good the high velocity bullets are first. 
You're having a giggle. These statues don't spawn anything. No! All that preparation for naught. Let's make absolutely sure that none of these statues spawn anything. Lizard Watcher statue. Nothing. And the the wire is indeed connected. Lizard Guardian statue. I actually had some hopes for this one. Nothing. Okay. Well. While we're at it, how about we try... I'm pretty sure goblins can be spawned from statues. Yes, indeed. Oh, the bat is going to mess up our testing. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That's... That's pretty cool. Did nanite bullets always do this? That's actually freaking great. Nanite bullet causes confusion and bounces back after hitting a wall. Yes, they have. I've been missing out. How much does high velocity pierce? A few. Okay. That's actually incredibly good for spelunking. It's like, uh... It's a bit like Crystal Storm, or Crystal Darts is what it's most like, I suppose. Alright, they don't seem to be dropping any... Oh, they do drop it. Tattered cloth. Fantastic. Not that we need any more goblin invasions at this point. Hmm. Yeah, nano bullets... Nano bullets are going to be perfect for farming the lizards. Let's put this other stuff away for now. I need to organize this stuff a bit better. It's probably fine. Avenger emblem. Up here, please. Put the wire away. I guess we may as well kill Gollum. Uh, at least once. Well, twice, actually. Rather than farming more of these power cells, we can just see if he drops what we're looking for on the first two tries. Actually, let's get our buffs refreshed. Don't the tablets make the power cells too? Tablets. I thought they make the solar... Do you mean these? Solar, tab solar tablet fragment? I'm pretty sure they only make the uh, thing that summons the solar eclipse. Which we've had way too many of naturally this playthrough. Yeah, summons the Eclipse, Mithril Anvil. There's no other use for them. We can actually do that 13 times already. Okay. Buff Refresh. Explosive Damage. 
And go. I should try and hit him from the top so that all three of those take damage at once. Snowman Cannon is definitely suboptimal for single target damage, but I don't care. It's uh, by far the easiest to obtain homing missile, other than using mana. So Zayla, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I should have seen that. Golem really is easy when you've got a lot of space. I am, thank you. Good to hear. All right. Fingers crossed, we get not what we're looking for. Alright, let's sort out our inventory then. And I'll wrap this, why not? I'm not used to my reach being so bad with the pickaxe now. Maybe I shouldn't use the digging claw after all. You can actually use it as a weapon. It's not as fast as I remember, actually. Although I'm not using, like, melee swing speed. So there's that. Um, let's put away the endless pouch. It's just taking up space. Don't need another golem relic. I definitely need Shroomite Mask. Let's just grab all the things I'm gonna sell. have a shiny stone? I don't want a shiny stone. I don't want another incentive to stand still. Besides, you can't keep it in an accessory slot, so to swap it out is a bit clunky. Uh, I'll sell the dual hook. Stinger bolts. Um, we can turn this into more money. Well, a lot more than no value. We can turn a suspicious looking eye into some money pretty quickly. Let's get our Philosopher's Stone and a Band of Regeneration. Charm of Myths reduces potion cooldown by 25% and also some regen. Probably more regen than the uh, Band of Regeneration, I imagine. Defense. All right, let's stack this stuff away. Useless lizard statues. Banners go in here. Guy goes here. Daybloom seeds go here. I think that's all of our void bag empty. And we got plenty of nano bullets. Uh. I'll put the Shroomite Mask in the safe or something. So we can... Oh, the piggy bank, so we can access it easily. It's kind of full, though. I don't need two shadow keys. Alright. Did I make a portal here? 
I did not. Alright, let's grab our minecart track. And away we go. I like the combined trails from both the mechanical minecart and the rune robe. It's kind of neat. Alright, let's try and find the best spot in the temple for farming these lizards. So we need them to not be like I think it's going to be here, probably. Yeah. We need not too many of them to be, like, spawning above and below us and being completely inaccessible. So, one more layer down. Rod of Discord would be very nice at this point. Ow. I don't really need to aim at all with this, do I? Yeah, that's pretty effective. Alright, so right about here... Theoretically... Oh, I brought the sniper rifle so I can look over this way. So we do have a few of them getting stuck up there. Hopefully not too many. Let's get some lights over here. Can they jump up this? I have my doubts. Let's find out. I think that's the same height. They can't jump this? Okay. In that case... Maybe the arena room is the best place? If I stay all the way on the, over here at the corner... If they spawn in there, they should find their way down, I imagine. Hmm, this doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh! I think, I think just staying here but going up and down so that we, like, allow them to spawn above and below us like this might be the way to go. This little S-bend is really unfortunate for our purposes. Nano bullets are incredibly good for something that basically just costs money. Yeah, sorry, fairy. I'm not coming out of the temple just for that. I wonder what it's trying to lead me to, though. Who knows? I keep trying to press V for the sniper rifle, so maybe... Maybe I'll do that. I think we're probably better off just going back and forth. There must be somewhere that's decent in this entire pyramid to get them to spawn and come to us. Normally there's a corner somewhere in here where they just come at you like it's always a battle potion. Maybe here? 
They can't get up there. What about here? There's going to be a bunch of them spawning below, I imagine. But, oh, here we go. This is looking a little more promising. Perhaps. Because anything that spawns up there is going to find its way down to us. If I can kill whatever's below me with the sentry, even if slowly, No, they're all accumulating down here. What if I get up to the top? There really just isn't a good spot in this entire temple. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna... Probably gonna give up on farming Gollum for a bit. Well, we got one more power cell. I should get a dart rifle as well, I still don't have one. Oh, here's a power cell. I do have a dart pistol, but I think I kind of prefer it to be higher impact. If we're shooting crystal darts. What would the sniper rifle be like with this? Oh, rather good. Because if we miss, we just... Yeah, if we miss, we hit, pretty much. That's actually, that's actually arguably better than homing bullets in most situations for the sniper rifle. Because the homing bullets, uh, they turn very, very quickly, but they don't turn instantly. And they can curve around something and slam into the ground. But with the uh, nano bullets, they actually deal more damage as well. Uh, with the nano bullets, just hit a surface that has line of sight to the target, and it's as good as dead. We can also use the Shroomite armor damage bonus from standing still because they don't have line of sight to us. Okay, that's kind of broken actually, and I love it. We got a whopping three power cells. This is bullying. We do want the ricochet to happen close to the target so that they can't move out of the way because the ricochet won't lead the target. Alright, that's four. I think we'll go... I think we'll go kill Golem now. Let's refresh that bus first. Uh, I almost started the Eternal 
the Eternia thing if I had crystals on me, which I don't. Alright, rocket time. I wonder if the popper would still do more damage, single target. Probably not. While we have the Shroomite helmet on, and especially while we're a bit too far away to see our target properly. Another solar eclipse? Oh, no thank you. If we keep a boss fight going, are the little enemies gonna stop spawning? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's not what I want to see. That's a moth. I don't really want to deal with a moth while fighting the second form. Ouch. Ouch. I still don't have that thing that lets us skip a day. I could go underground if I don't want to deal with the 17th um, solar eclipse. Might be the way to go. I guess now's as good a time as any to farm more lizards if we don't get our drop. Or I could go to the dungeon and look for the tactical shotgun, but we got the Xeno popper, so I don't think that's necessary. It's probably just worse, actually. Alright, what did we get? We still have one more boss spawn. Still didn't get our Eye of the Golem or whatever it's called. Let's do it one more time. Even though it's going to be a little dangerous. Ow. Jeez. Okay. More than a little dangerous. Did I get a Featherfall potion? I did too. That's fine, I suppose. Ow. I'm just trying to... Start the boss fight! Do you have to be this way? Oh my god. Why are you like this? We're dangerously low on health right now. Oh, we're falling slowly. Okay. Let's heal super fast. Maybe I should keep the regen stone just in my inventory. Just 
especially when we have bats, it's not that infeasible to find somewhere to sit for a few seconds to heal up. And a nail head is right on top of the boss summon. Okay. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, actually. We can effective... If we want to hover around, we actually get tons of extra flight time by having Featherfall. Because we don't have to wait until we're out of... Uh, flight time in order to hover. Uh, not hover, but like slow fall. I should probably add Featherfall to my buff repertoire. It's not something that I necessarily want to use when I'm doing a boss fight in the sky. Because I like to use grab potions to fall fast. You can always just hold the down button, but I find that little bit of extra distraction to be a bit much. On the other hand, dodging those lasers just now, having the slow fall, it's kind of like falling with the slime mount. You have a lot more control over your pace. Alright, what did we get this time? Oh, I didn't pick it up yet. Now, let's carefully not slam into any enemies while we pick up our stuff. Alright, there's our treasure bag. And I think we got not what we're looking for once again. Oh, we got it. I have the golem at last. On our last summon. Fantastic. Um, I guess I will hold on to one shiny stone. It's yet another thing taking up an inventory slot, but... Regenning that quickly is actually kind of crazy. Alright, let's sell everything we've got dupes of. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have a lizard furnace, but I don't want to make that mistake. don't want to sell a philosopher's stone. That's kind of rare. don't need the stinger ammo. I can always just buy it, even if I do want to use the stinger. We've got way more than enough greater healing potions lying around. That will last us to the end of time. Um... I might make sure I have a spare of the sunstone. I'm pretty sure we did everything with the beetle husk. But we've got like over a hundred of them stacked away still as well. And also, wow, that's a lot. Half a plat. Sure, maybe I should farm golem for money. I mean, we have to farm lizards first. We've got, I think, more than enough broken hero swords to make everything that broken hero sword turns into. Uh, you know what? I've... We've got some room in a void chest. In the void bag. I think I just want to move on. What time is it? Three more minutes and the solar eclipse will stop. Okay. I wanted to make... Whatever this turns into. 
The guide is probably dead? No, he's not. There's only one thing this turns into, right? And same goes for the Avenger emblem. Not quite. Alright. Destroyer emblem. Fantastic. And that only turns into the sniper scope, right? Yes. I want to re-roll this to... We've already got crit. Maybe I could stick with that. But I like menacing better. I, I like... I generally like more reliable things rather than RNG. It's quite cheap to re-roll, actually. I'm surprised... Oh, there it is. I'm surprised I spent all of my money re-rolling it last time. So, we got... We're not roll uh, swapping out the sniper scope for it. 10% increased damage... Well, 14% increased damage, 18% 18 crit. Oh, not 18, 8. That's probably better than 16% damage. I don't know if it's better than 19% damage. If we... If we imagine crit to be, on average, equal to plus damage, then it's like... This is 22. And this is 16. I think this is probably the optimal set right here. We very, very slightly lose out on flat damage. And we gain 8% crit. And it's uh, class agnostic as well. Okay. I think that's what we'll go with. And I'll put the class neutral thing back in here for now. We're gonna go with Chlorophyte Bullets, Xeno Popper, when we're in motion, it's 86 range damage per bullet. Um, if I wait just one more minute, we're not going to have any more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Solar Eclipse to deal with. That's what I thought was going to happen. Ow. Probably shouldn't have killed things. Because the more stuff there is on screen, the less is going to spawn. Okay, that's pretty strong. Mothron wings. Oh, I forgot we have to wait for night time. Oh, I misread. It's... Uh... We're not waiting for morning, we're waiting for night time, which is another three minutes. Okay, before... Before an NPC dies, or myself for that, I can't leave. Okay. Um, let's go downstairs. Why don't we look for... What's the word I'm looking for? Why don't we look for some Crimson Mimics or something? Whoops. I actually didn't realize I wasn't using the bubble gun for a second there. 81 range damage from Toxic Harp is not bad, actually. As it turns out. Uh, 
I still haven't fought the brain of Cthulhu. Was it vertebrae that I need to summon it? Ow. Seriously, ow. Oh my goodness, that could have killed me. Oh, that's dangerous. That's super dangerous. Let's be careful about sight lines in this place. Um, I should have a million souls of night, actually. I say, as I pick up another five. I could make some, uh... Not Crimson, but Corrupt Mimics? I'm pretty sure they're the ones that give us the Dart Rifle, right? I don't really have a slot for a Dart Rifle, though. Alright, 20 seconds until the solar eclipse is gone. The only way I can get Crimson Mimics is actually to just hang around this area. Alright, it is night time, officially. Stack this stuff away. And the time has come at last to get ready for... I don't have any spawners for Empress of Light. Never mind. Let's go get some. have to go back and forth across the hallow. What was that? Oh, I thought it was a mimic. It would be weird if it was a mimic. I do have the guide to credit companionship, so we're not going to accidentally summon the Empress when we're not ready. I guess we get the same chance not to consume ammo, regardless of if we have the specific damage buffs. That's good. I should also make some ammo reservation potions, if I want that chlorophyte to go further. It's pretty easy to farm it though, with the way I've set things up. Oh, the hallow did get in here. Didn't get all the way through, though. This is my least favorite part of Empress of Light. Okay, my least favorite part is probably the part where I die, but looking for Butterfly is right up there. The lighting from the sunflowers kind of makes it look like this isn't hallowed, uh, hallowed grass. Gastropod banner, sure. 
Oh, there it is. Alright, what time is it? Um, 11 p.m.? Let's see if we can get our buffs in order quickly enough that we'll feel ready. I can do it in the next, like, 40 seconds. Um, I do want a Featherfall potion, as it turns out. Featherfall. Uh, I've got Grav, I've got Damage, I've got Health, Damage Reduction, Hunter, whatever. We don't need to waste any Magic Power Potions and such. We do want... not Archery Potion. Um... I'm not keen enough on... Actually, wait, let me get it real quick. I know what to do. Is it Vanguard Lardfish? I've only got one left. For the Amu Reservation Potion. No, it's double card. I don't think we have any. Alright, let's just not worry about that. We've got a stack of Chlorophyte Bullets. We need to put away our Guide to Critic Companionship. Refresh our buffs. And I think this is it. Good luck. Uh, how do I... There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. I need to remember to point in her general direction at least. Just like I would with... Oh, that hits me? Oh my god, the trail hits me. Okay, that's... absurd. The trail on those things hits you. Today I learned. And as soon as I realized there was no way out. Repetitive beats. Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rip all of those potions, and rip the time it took to find the prismatic lace ring again. Okay, since we've got like two and a half minutes left in the night time, I want to see if... Also rip my guide to critter companionship, which I was keeping in the trash slot so it would just not work. That's only a couple of gold or so. Also rip a bit of ammo, but that was literally just like 50. Worth a try, good luck for next time, yeah. I can't believe the trails on those stars deals damage. It really doesn't look like it should. Also, I just realized if I find the prismatic lace wing I'm looking for... Um... Without... Guide to Critic Companionship, it's probably going to get killed. Um, and that's going to summon Empress before I'm ready. Not to mention completely waste. Uh, completely waste the whole point of the exercise, which is to look for the summoning item. All right, one minute left. Prismatically swing. 
It's not that big of a bust if we don't find one, because I have to do some fishing after this anyway. I need to replace the plus 20% life potions. Uh, some double cod would be good to have. Do these count as bullets, I wonder? 111 range. 111 range damage. 111 range damage. Okay, they definitely don't count as bullets. They probably don't fit in any of the specific categories. Also, Lars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's uh, I've already got bat wings somewhere. Let's sell that. And that, and that, and that. And... Chocolate chip cookie. Nom. That's a lot of crap we need to sort. I don't need a millionth chainsaw. Banners in here. Don't need another golem relic. Don't need another stinger. Ooh, cookies, indeed. Uh, let's make a charm of myths. Where the uh, where this guy go? Alright, so we need to do a little... F we need to do a little fishing down here. Where we will get... Prismatic... Whatchamacallit? So we can make plus 20% health potion. And something else I'm not remembering. Oh yeah, we also get armored um, cave fish uh, from fishing in this place handily enough. Uh, let's see, bait. Now the guide has arrived. I see how it is. Why don't we go full fishing gear this time? In fact, we're going to go all the way. Uh, fishing potion. The idea of this, before I added the uh, switch thing here, was that I could toss the bait, uh, toss the rod down this little hole. But it is shockingly... Uh, finicky. Oh, we got it. And I shouldn't have moved the mouse after that. Oh, fantastic. Now let's never move again. The princess fish we can also use as just Crap. Um, specular fish and princess fish we can use for seafood dinners, as they don't make anything particularly, particularly useful. The specular fish make teleporting uh, potions, but you find so many of those, it doesn't even matter.
Ideally, I want like eight or so armored cave fish. Uh, ideally, I want more than one prismite. That would be nice. There we go. They're rare enough to fish up that I only use the plus health boss fights. We seem to be having trouble getting armored cave fish as well. We could get more of them from fishing a different biome, preferably a neutral one. Or if we do a corruption biome, we get a bunch of armored cave fish and ebon koi. We've got tons of ebon koi at the moment, though. Chaos fish. Third prismite. Fantastic. I'll stop at five prismite. Assuming we ever get there. Oh, I did say I was going to try melee if I died to range. I didn't really get to fight the Empress with range, though. I just found out the hard way four seconds in that, oh, the trails on those stars actually deal damage. Now I can't escape and I'm dead. Not the best time to find out playing a glass cannon. I guess that's all the more reason to try melee. Learn her patterns. Assuming that we can kill her before morning when she'll one shot us. Prismite, please. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cat train, indeed. The traveling merchant was slain. I wonder where he was. He only arrived a minute ago. I've seen him... Uh, almost drown every time he visits the ocean dome? Maybe he ran into a crab or something. I don't think, for the most part, enemies exist away from the player, though. So I'm really quite confused as to how he died. This fifth prismite is taking its sweet time showing up. Not to mention fifth armored cave fish. At least we have plenty of uh, seafood dinner. I do wish there was a major improvements to stats buff that you could uh, farm that lasted more than four minutes. Um, that you could get reliably. At this rate, we're going to run out of fishing potions. There's only two minutes left.
Surely the next one is Prismite. Surely the next one is Prismite. Surely the next one is Prismite. Dope. Only 40 seconds left. Well, we got our fourth Prismite quite a while ago. And we spent like 70% of the fishing potion on not any Prismite. Well, rip. It's not that bad though. Alright, back to spawn. Uh, divine crate and go in here. How many crates do I have? Quite a few. Let's drink a luck potion. I've got... Uh, I think white pearl is the cheapest one. It only lasts three minutes. What do we need? White pearl... Waterleaf Ladybug. Do we really not have Waterleaf? We must have a million Waterleaf. What about Ladybugs? They're right here. Oh, there it is. I must have just not had the chest open or something. Alright, Luck Potion Go Burr. we get something good out of one of the rare ones. And then I need obsidian lock boxes. I need the obsidian key. Or the shadow key. Fantastic. Alright, so what did we get? Uh, there's two more crates in here. There we go. We got way too many sailfish boots. Dark Lance, Trident, Sun Fury, Treasure Magnet. All of this is disposable. At this point. Superheated Blood. Uh, gives you a shark that lets you swim through lava. That's always fun. It lets you swim through lava indefinitely, so maybe I should keep that in my piggy bank or something. Uh, sell the Sun Fury. I can have this if it fits somewhere, which it doesn't. Well, that's something, indeed. Got a treasure magnet already. You can have this Lava Serpent bowl, I guess. That's our only Shadow Key. I don't want to sell that. There are only so many of those. Uh, what else? Sell, 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 sell. sell. And get rid of that. I think Lava Charm is actually kind of rare, so I'll hold on to that. Crystal Serpent is kind of rare, but not very good. Hardy Saddle. It's kind of like a worse... Uh, blamey Shark. It moves very quickly in water. Only. Loot all. Um, I don't think I'm selling any of this. Let's stack it away instead. That's a lot of titanium. At this rate, we could almost make titanium armor. No, we need to like double it. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
Besides, we're way past titanium armor. Lava charm gets combined with... Uh, it's, it's part of the path to Terra Spark Boots. It's one of the harder things to get. Flower of Fire is really crap at this point, especially. We have Auric Calcum. And we have all of this stuff. Which I think I can just stack away, actually. Okay, potions. We got four spare prismite. A whole lot of spare princess fish. I think we got a lot of spare specular fish as well. Fantastic. That's more than a stack of seafood dinner. That's what I need for my boots. I would give it to you if I could. And then we need some life force potions. Do I still have the luck bonus? Let's hurry up just in case I do. I don't think I did. Uh, I don't know if luck affects whether or not you get the percent chance to not consume potion ingredients to proc or not. But we did get five loaf. We only got five life force potions out of four ingredients. That's actually pretty bad. Um, and armored cavefish. We've got quite a lot, actually. So there's that going for us. Maybe even get a stack out of this? Not quite. But yeah, we're not hurting for anything except for life force potions right now. I do want some... I think I have featherfall potions somewhere. I do, but where are they? Where did that quick stack go? It wasn't over here, I'm pretty sure. Quick... Uh, featherfall potions. Oh! They're in here for some reason. Okay, I'll put those in... I really need to sort out my piggy bank. At some point. Alright. Oh, it's night time. I should be looking for the... Uh, the boss spawning butterfly. Let's go grab it. That's not a magic missile. There's one. I would like to get at least three. If I take the time to swap to the melee gear now, we're not going to have that much night time left. I'd much rather find a few more lace wings. There's one. Fantastic. We're very much on track. I should just ignore the uh, enemies. 
I think the more ground we cover, the more likely we are to see lace wings. Found some up off stream. Of course, I didn't real. I didn't expect to get clapped in literally three seconds by the Empress. I just want one more, so that we can try or try and or farm at least three times in one night. Probably that's about all we can fit in one night, especially with melee, the DPS should be lower. What is that in the background? Are those supposed to be lace wings or...? I should have quit while I was ahead with two. But I really prefer to, f to find them not on the same night that I'm going to fight. Unless, you know, we've already gone past Empress of Light. Only got two minutes left. There isn't anything I can do to increase the spawn rate of it, right? It's a critter. Crazy. I seem to always get spiky RNG with Terraria. It's always 200,000 hours of not finding a tactical shotgun and then finding three in a row. Getting an Unreal Sniper Rifle on the first reroll, getting an Unreal Sniper Rifle dropped in the dungeon, and then spending 20 Platinum trying to get an Unreal Snowman Cannon. having an entire run with no aglet. Well, I should have stopped it too. That was the entire night. Let's go check out our melee gear. Put the prismatic here for the moment. Alright, so first things first, we put away the Shroomite. Um, I might keep the other Shroomite helmet in here for quick swapping. Beetle armor, go burr. We don't need a sniper scope. Uh, this stuff is... this is range specific. 
This is classic Gnostic. Oh, I think I need to... I think I need to kill Ball of Flesh again. Because... Nope, we've got a... Oh, that's the Avenger emblem I don't want to waste. Uh, because I had the... Th Avenger emblem plus power glove equals mechanical glove. I think I think it has to be a Crimson World for us to get flesh knuckles. What do we gain from this? 12% increased melee damage and speed. Yeah, that's kind of important. Um, or I could just farm up another one of these later. It's already menacing. I don't want to lose that. How about for now, I just try putting this on. And... Paladin Shield. Uh, I would really like to get the Frozen Turtle Shell, but it is really, really hard to find. Once again, this needs Flesh Knuckles. Where do we even get Flesh Knuckles? I want to check, actually. Flesh Knuckles. It is dropped by Crimson Mimic, actually. We can get it. Okay. So let's say, hypothetically... I could, if I really want to, stack multiple... Plus melee speed items. How do I get the Titan Glove? I think that's from Mimics. I think I actually upgraded the Titan Glove into Power Glove, which I shouldn't have done. We'll probably just have one melee speed item. Uh, if we're going all in on defense... I can actually get up to 95 already. And that's on top of the damage mitigation from this. Um, what about weapons? Oh, let's put the ranged weapons away for now. That's not a ranged weapon. fine. Uh, let's see. I never got the Duke Fisher on melee thingy. Possessed Hatchet might be pretty good, actually. I haven't been using these, so I don't really have a good comparison. I should probably do a class playthrough. I've never done melee all the way. We could do... Warrior Emblem, if we want more damage. It's really a question of... Hmm. You know what? I don't think we're going to be using this anymore. Since we've got the Destroyer Emblem. I can always get another one. Let's be impatient. Mechanical glove. Let's re-roll this for... It's already on crit. That's not that bad. Oh, wait. This is still a material. I think, actually, the last thing we add to it is fire, which we've already got. Uh, let's see. Whoops. We get... We already have increased melee knockback, auto swing, size of melee weapons, damage and speed, inflict fire damage, knockback, auto swing, damage and speed, fire damage, size. Yeah, so it's just a straight upgrade, right? Fire gauntlet. 
Alright, so what prefix do we want on this? Uh, warding or menacing, I think would be fine. Maybe even melee speed. So, of all the plus four things, that's like half of them. Crit chance? Eh. Our crit chance is pretty terrible with melee. I think we really want to get crit up to a certain critical mass, no pun intended, if we're going to go for crit. Wild, that's 1% melee speed. We're getting really bad warding, that'll do. Super tank, we're at 99 defense. Defense, defense, defense. Mana? I haven't re-rolled this yet. Fleeting, lucky... Give me damage or defense. Lucky, lucky. Menacing, that'll do. Of course, if I did get warding, it'd put us up over a hundred. I'm sure there's some kind of diminishing return to armor. Probably. And if we go for this, I don't have room for anything like this stuff. Serious Bout, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, so what melee gear should we take? Uh, how strong is this? 147. That seems good. That, I imagine that maybe even pierces, or not. It sets things on fire. Okay. Influx waiver, go burn. Um, I don't think we're going to be using the Christmas tree sword, as big as it is. Oh, I want... Maybe it's outdated by now. I, th I kind of want the flail that we get from Plantera. Because you can just chuck it around a corner and it shoots things for you. Chainsaw is actually kind of crazy DPS. Beansword. I think we're only keeping that out of the sake of having a collection. Um, Shadow Flame Knife is amazing early hard game, uh, hard mode, but maybe not that good now. It does give you light and damage over time. It's got very high crit as well. Uh, this is our homing missile, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, I guess for lack of anything else, probably take the... Kraken is a... Ruthless Kraken is 150. Eye of Cthulhu is 182 damage, you say. Um, okay. Flying Knife is pretty good as well. So much to choose from, and so little experience with melee. Paladin's Hammer, that is of course rather strong as well. That's probably going to take the place of our Shadow Flame Knife, actually. This does not pierce, does it? Not unless it goes past things like a boomerang. Uh, Paladin's Hammer. 3,000 DPS on five enemies. Uh, wow. 3,000 DPS on that while we're 100 defense. That seems pretty good. Also, 
I get the feeling the hatch possessed hatchet isn't going to be able to chases after your enemy. Okay, I might have to give that a go. All right. Um Let's try these. Get some rerolls in. Hurtful, forceful, godly. Godly, ruthless, ruthless, zealous. Oh, there's probably... Okay, demonic's pretty good. I was going to say there's probably only certain things that this shield can be. Godly, demonic, ruthless, ruthless, godly. Godly. That's decent. That's, ow. That's... Why did you open the door? Uh, maybe... Maybe even going back to the shield of Cthulhu makes sense. Playing melee. So we can just slam into things. We'll give this a try. How about for a warm up? We do. Did she go back to where she's supposed to be? That was quick. How about we do the Eternia Crystal to try this on? Oh, and also we can actually take advantage of. In viewing stations. Um, I didn't really leave room for it in here. Maybe I should make these rooms a little bigger next time. Uh, but let's see. Flasks. I think we need bottled water. And... Flask of gold makes enemies drop more gold. 20 minutes. That's fantastic. Uh, set enemies on fire, poison enemies. Okay, that's three kinds of damage over time. Decrease enemies' defense for two Ica for 20 minutes. That's really good. Cursed Flames is actually pretty good as well. Confuse is kind of meh. Melee and whip attacks cause confetti to appear. Yes, perfect. I think we'll go for the Ikko. Um, what's the... Huh, I would have thought... Oh yeah, Cursed Flame. Alright, let's grab some... Wait, what do we need for that? It's literally just bottled water and Ikko. And we need imbuing station. Fantastic. Let's make a few of these so I don't have to do it again later. Okay. And I'll put away the ice rod. Oh, does that, did that just do what I think it did? It went through the enemy and then came back and hit him again. Oh wow, that's actually shockingly strong. How about this? These do indeed seek enemies out. Not that much DPS, though, for this late in the game. That's pretty strong. Paladin's Hammer is just excellent for groups. 
Wow. I can't believe we have this much damage and we get to be this tanky at the same time. Uh, what other weapons do we have? Yo-yo. I'm not that excited about a yo-yo except for like reaching around corners and stuff. Shadow, uh, flying knife is just kind of out of date. Uh, the shield is good, but not super high DPS good. It's good homing missile utility. Alright, we're not as tanky... Well, okay, these enemies are super overpowered, so... I don't know if it's the best test of tankiness. I mean, it kind of is. Let's go find something that hits kind of hard, but not that hard. Uh, what else? Dungeon? Dungeon. Yeah, let's... Let's drop in on the dungeon a little bit. Oh, 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 oh no. No, 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 no. Ow. Ow? Okay, we just ran into a paladin and didn't die. That's already pretty good. I'm shocked that a paladin spawned up here. What the hell? I didn't think anything could spawn at this depth in the dungeon. Or maybe I just got deeper than expected. Rather quickly. Um, I should have included... What would I even swap out for it? I don't think the Paladin Shield's actually that good. Six defense, 25% of damage done to players on your team is absorbed by me. This is only like six defense, really. And not much else. Let's put that away until we maybe add something else to it. Um, I think the Ankh Shield is a given, though. Charm of Myths. We're going to want to re-roll that for damage or defense. Menacing? Sure. Uh, so now we should have fairly strong regen even right after we take some damage. Yeah, the fact that we can even see it ticking up a second after we take damage is pretty good. Um, that'll stack with our natural regen as well, which we'll get going pretty quickly. 74 damage from hitting one of those is actually not that bad. May not be using the best. I think we need to kill Fish Run again. We ne we never did get the uh, what is it called? Well, whatever it is, the melee weapon from Fish Run is actually really really good. Shockingly, it's not just strong; it's easy to use. Spits out a bunch of bubbles that have homing powers. Which is what, definitely what we need for fighting um, a flying boss as well. We are pretty damn tanky though. That's a sniper.
Okay, yeah, I think we need the uh, fish run bubbles. If we're going to be fighting something in the air with melee. It is pretty damn tanky, though. That's really not very bad damage. Influx waiver. Okay. Dare I fight fish run like this? We could always flee if it doesn't work out. Or just die. I really want to get more of a feel for just how strong this is. Damage isn't that bad. Yeah, damage is really not that bad, actually. Considering this is the tankiest we can get. Very close to it. That did, like, no damage. Hatchet is pretty easy to use. We, what's our DPS? Not quite a thousand, eight hundred something. What about with this? Over a thousand. Uh, when it all hits. Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. I thought I saw fifteen hundred in there. Yeah, this is actually super strong. Okay, not super strong, but it's way more damage than I would necessarily expect with the tankiest class. I think we could probably comfortably farm fish run with this. Not even using the grab potion or anything. Oh yeah, I just casually stepped through a tornado. No worries. I think... I think this is our loadout for killing Empress of Light. Except, um... It'll probably be even better if we have... Oops. Uh, it would probably be even better if we have... Can I, can I finish this guy off? Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Not like this. I just didn't have the damage to finish him off. Oh, I, I was trying out the hatchet as well. That wasn't that smart. He does way more damage in that last phase. Okay, I, I have to take him seriously and actually, like, get high in the sky and fall correctly for that last bit. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. Uh, I still think this is probably... That was a terrible waste of some buff potions, but I think this is probably the easiest way... I don't know, actually. Hallowed armor with ranged with the popper. Just so that we have the homing missiles to finish his last phase off. Might even be better. Just so that you can really get the damage on him in his last phase. That's pretty much the only reason.
pretty much the entire rest of the boss fight is just casual mode at this point. Of course, there's no guarantee he's going to drop the weapon I'm looking for. We still didn't get the summoning item out of him either. Traveling merchant has arrived. Getting kind of low. Let's make sure we're up in the air. Uh, I'm confused. Which way is he? We preferably want to be falling away from him. Also, oh yeah, I just remembered. With how late game we are... Uh, sheer damage is actually really good for beating his final phase because you can actually kill him while he's uh, just sitting there getting ready to do his final phase. But no, we've got the pattern down now. Alright, what do we get? We're looking for... not the bubble gun again. I should probably get a few more um, truffle worms than two or three so that we can overlap the buff potions. Lord Emperor Posh King Marza. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. Right, so the most dangerous part of his final form was when I had to double back from the ocean level and get back in the sky. But when we're falling away from him, all we have to do is... I guess I should have used the crab potion. Uh, when we're falling away from him, we just have to, like, dodge probably either direction, if the timing is right. Either underneath him or just directly away from him. so that he can't reach us with his charge. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll farm fish until we get the thing that spams the homing, belt, uh, homing bubbles that count as melee damage. Um, I think that's probably still going to be stronger than this weapon, probably. It's also kind of easier to use. Where is he? Definitely not swapping the ninja gear for Shield of Cthulhu because a chance to simply not take damage is too good to pass up. For boss fights, anyway. Being able to charge into enemies to hit them with all of the melee and not take damage is pretty good too. With the shield. Alright, up we go. I don't have a grab potion, actually. Let's bring him all the way up to the top. Almost. And then... When he reaches that low point of health, he's gonna just stay in place for a bit. This is it. 
that right there is where you can absolutely nuke him if you're playing a glass cannon. Ow. Ow. Timing's off. Timing is off. Nope. 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 There we go. Alright. Once more with feeling. Another tsunami. That's unfortunate. Should we try the Empress of Light like this? Just with the uh, influx waiver. I really want those bubbles though. We've got like six minutes or so to make it happen. Um, over here is the best place to look for truffle worms. Who knows, maybe we'll find some Crimson Mimics on the way and get the Flesh Knuckles. And we can make something useful out of that Paladin Shield. I don't think the uh, Truffle Worms appear underwater, do they? So this might not actually be the best place to look for them, unless I drain it, which is not the worst idea. Probably easy to use when we don't need that much damage. I might go to the other mushroom biome actually. There's one just to the right. scare one off? I heard the worm sound, but I don't see any worms trying to attack me. This thing keeps spawning up there whenever I Link. There's one. Oh no, the damage is... pierces as well. How many worms did we get? Two? Two. I would like at least five if we're going to try for some specific weapon. Three. 
three. Uh oh. Oh, I actually messed it up. Wow. Okay. Rip. At least we're getting some souls as well. I think we've actually got like all the souls we ever need, almost. There's one. Guide to Critter Companionship sure makes it a lot easier to collect them. What are we up to? Three? Oh wait, how far does that go? I thought it had super limited range, but... Oh... Oh, that's better than expected. It, if there's nothing on the screen, it looks like it ra its range stops here, but it actually goes almost anywhere. If there's a target. That's pretty good. It doesn't... Okay, yes it does. It does get around corners. There's another truffle worm. Fantastic. I think I'll put this in slot two. That's where I usually have razor blade typhoon. Very good at suppressing an enemy as well. And that's five. Alright, let's go farm that. Oh, there's another one. Don't despawn. Thank you. Oh no, I let... Uh, I stood on it while I was... Fighting you absolute derp. Okay, let's leave. No more worms. Uh, we've got all the buffs we need. We are fully prepared. Theoretically, I could use the uh, shield to parry Duke Fisher on, but that that feels a bit advanced for the last phase. Okay. Fish you up. And I might try... I might try using this a bit more since it always hits. As long as he's close enough. Let's have deeps. 8,000. Compared to like a maximum of 12,000 if I use this thing. But it has to hit. 8,000. 8,000. It's actually not changing. This is probably the way to go. Oh, I didn't buff. You know what? We can wait till nearly the end of the fight to buff. The rest is actually kind of easy. It's only the end I'm worried about. should probably re-roll this thing. Legendary would be nice. 
I might end up using it even after we get the, uh, the fish bubbles. Although, come to think of it, no amount of defense really helps us in the end. It's just, can we damage him down fast enough? Maybe I should just be eating a wrath potion and nothing else. Whatever, let's not risk it. Bad part. All faster, please. Thank you. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't think this is the weapon for this phase. I really don't. I think we need to have... Yeah, I think we need to have the sword beams already over the spot that he's about to appear on. What do we get? Another tsunami. Not great. Considering I'm looking for one specific item out of all of his drops. We shouldn't expect it. On average, we should not expect it every single time. So this is like 8,000 deeps. And this is like 8,000 deeps. This is much easier. I wonder why the hatchet is so bad for finishing him off, though. I was trying to aim it at this, like, in the same way, preemptively. scratch. Okay, that's more than a scratch. his health and position so that he's up in the sky when he gets super upset. Ow. Oh boy, that's, that's bad. We're not going to have a potion for the last phase. And he's going to be down near the ocean, actually. Oops. Thank you, Ninja Gear. I should have switched weapon. I guess I don't really need to fall upside down 
because the fish run wings give us uh, height gain so fast for that fast phase. Okay. What do we get this time? Um, inventory's looking a bit full. Why do we have mushrooms? Oh, I remember. And another tsunami. Okay. I see how it is. What are we up to? Third last fight before we have to farm again. Although, I guess we are kind of farming fish run at this point. It is still dangerous, but not particularly difficult. Maybe I should use uh, range or mage so we can kill him quicker. I don't feel like taking the time to swap. Round and round and round we go. Oops. That's what I get for getting hit by the bubble. percentage does he actually go into his final form? I should pay more attention to that. This is it. No, it isn't. It's like 10%, I think. Did you die already? I'm getting pretty good at dodging it though. This is good practice. Yeah, let's just call it that. Good practice. I actually tried to finish him off by taking a hit there, but it wasn't enough. Oh my god, would you die? Pretty please. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Another razor blade typhoon. Cool. Once more with feeling. Easy, indeed. I might take a break after. If not this fight, then the next one, because I'm. My mouse hand is physically getting to the point of having had enough for a bit. Oops. I 
I should probably get some health back. Alright, fine, I'll use my potions. So I think it's only when his weird bubble thing reaches you that certain attacks get triggered. This thing. The, uh, the whirlpools. Oh, I was going to say the whirlpools and the sharks, but I don't think I got hit by one just now. So did that count as a hit? I don't see any whirlpools or sharks. Oh, there's the sharks. And if I stay away from this one... No, I definitely see sharks. Okay. So it seems to precede some of those regardless. So what's the point of this thing that chases me and doesn't do any direct damage? Time our dodges a little, oh, a little bit. Don't do them quite as early as we have to every time. And we get into a rhythm where he keeps being unable to reach. I think we've just about got it down now. Well, there's our Tempest stuff. It's uh, probably not as good as Sanguine Staff at this point. In fact, I'm sure it isn't. Although, okay, it depends on the use case. For a one-on-one, -on -one, it's not as good. But I think it shoots... Yeah, those shots Those shots pierce. And it does 72 summon damage. Plus 10 damage. So that's pretty comparable. It's like... Like 40% more damage than Sanguine Staff. Except in that kind of fight, it's going to miss all the time, I think. Um, so we should probably just go for Sanguine Staff. Which I should have been using this entire time, by the way. That might have made the difference between one of those fights as well, getting the last little bit of damage on him when he was in his final phase and really hard to spot slash hit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I'm using the wrong weapon. Burp. At least we hit him quite a bit already. That's more like it. I forgot to re-roll this as well. I think it's going to have a use case even if we do... Uh, then again, no, I think when we get the bubbles thing it might... That might be it for this weapon. We'll see. we're getting like a couple of hundred DPS out of the Sanguine Bats, if that. It's fine.
I'd actually be surprised if we can't beat Empress with this set, now that I think about it. If Fisheron gets to be this easy, and we take this little damage from him in everything but his overpowered final phase. Ow. I'm not seeing the Sanguine Bats do anything in this phase, actually. Literally nothing. Oh, I think I saw them move and then give up. Because he keeps teleporting and disappearing. Would you die, please? Thank you. Okay. Last chance before we have to look for more worms. I didn't see what we got. Another tsunami? That might have been unchecked before. No, I don't think we got it. We didn't get it. Okay, I think we're gonna try Empress of Life with the uh, Empress of Light with the possessed hatchet then. Um, so we're gonna need a reroll on that. We can definitely do better than Ruthless, I think. Probably. Do I have another one of these? Because if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't allow certain rerolls. Yeah, I do. Here it is. It's also cheaper for the first re-roll if we do this. If it's not able to actually be legendary, then Ruthless might be as good as it gets. Uh, crit, crit, damage, knockback. Crit, knockback, knockback. Damage, damage. Um, I don't actually have anything legendary on me to compare it to, but it would include speed. Godly? Damage, crit, and knockback. I don't care about knockback in a boss fight. Unpleasant, keen. Okay, I'm gonna check. Judging by the rolls we're getting, possessed hatchet. Best modifier is godly or demonic. Okay. Well, um, godly it is. Let's put this one away. We lose a tiny bit of reliable damage uh, and gain a bunch of crit. Uh, what time is it? 4.27 p.m.? We've got plenty of time to prepare for Empress. I'll put this away. Sell this, sell this. Uh, we don't need a million tsunamis. We've already got Unreal Tsunami lying around. Uh, I think that's our second bubble gun, though, so we could re-roll that. Put it in here for now. I don't need the seventh sniper rifle. Sixth, fifth or sixth, whatever it is. As far as I know, I've only seen and killed two tactical skeletons. Um, we got a... Uh, one or two. We got a SWAT hat from one of them. No no shotgun. And... 
we just can't stop finding sniper skeletons and paladins and stuff. Alright, I'll be putting away the guide to critic companionship. Uh, I have no doubt Influx Waver can be legendary. Size. Size and speed. Or not speed, attack speed? It is speed, is how it describes it. Yeah, if you can get size and speed, it can definitely be legendary. Time now. Uh oh, we're down to 2.8 plat. Uh oh. Savage? That's like. Kinda? Well, rip gold again. We'll mostly be using the Possessed Hatchet anyway, or maybe entirely, because it's not like Empress of Light has a final phase where she just becomes intangible and stuff. Alright, if this isn't it, I don't know what will be. Prismatic Lace Swing, 7.30pm. Could you... Be persuaded not to. Thank you. And away we go. Good luck. So those things that she just farted out, uh, the trail of them does deal damage. Want to be as far away from those as possible. Let's not get hit by that stuff. Alright, so far so good. Haven't taken a hit. Just having the confidence that we can take a few hits kind of makes it easier. We'll soon find out if that confidence is misplaced. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, okay. That did almost no damage. Even touching her didn't do much damage. Do we have to stay in the hallow or no? So far, so good. She's down to 60%. I think this is the one. Ow. Where'd she go? Could you be persuaded not to? She... wow, she just... practically teleports under the screen at that point. Okay. Let's be scarce, 40%, and that wasn't the way to dodge that. This is getting awkward, that didn't do much damage. Really getting a bit oppressive with the amount of space we don't have when she does that. 
Okay. 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 Alright. I get it. Alright, I'm sorry. You didn't want me to kill your butterfly. I understand now. Let's discuss this. So the downside of not having a ton of DPS is we have to... We have to keep this up for longer. But we take so much less damage though. It's perfect for learning her patterns. We're almost there. Almost there. Half the night's gone by. I think this is it. That's gonna hurt. Okay, okay. Where'd she go? She just zooms onto us, like, with no chance to dodge. How, what are we supposed to do about that if we're playing the one-hit kill version? I, I actually have no idea. Alright, we got a pet. We got a relic. And we got a whip. A very cool looking whip. Easy peasy, somewhat. So that took, what, five minutes? If I did it again, we'd run out of time and she'd kill me as soon as it's technically morning with one hit. Um, this is like probably the last thing I wanted her... Oh, we got the Soaring Insignia. That's the main reason to kill her. I actually don't know her loot table very well. But I'm pretty sure the whip is, like, the last thing that I would have wanted to get from it. At least now we have something... If we want to use a whip, at least now we have something that's up to our current power level that isn't Morning Star, which is incredibly slow and uncomfortable to use. So what does this do? I see... Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sanguine Bats. Give me a minute. Let me see what this does. Nothing? Okay, let's bring the bats back. I could have sworn I saw... 10% summon tag critical strike chance. Interesting. 20 summon tag damage is a shitload as well. Um, especially with some summons that hit often. But I thought I saw, like, uh... See that sparkly effect following them? The summons can indeed crit. After you tag something with this. Or isn't it... Hang on. 10% tag critical strike chance. I think that might even be not just the one that's been tagged last. I want to hit two at once and see what happens. I need two moderately tanky enemies next to each other. The description on the whip it's just making... it's just marking the enemy. I, I don't mean the little circle thing. See that spark? And that spark? And that spark? I think it's happening... Okay. I think... I think a debuff sticks to them for a little while. For like a couple of seconds. And then you see those sparks every time a minion hits it. So whether it crits or not, that's like showing you that it could have been a crit. That's probably all that is. Okay. Something like a curse plus extra damage, yeah. 
All right, so the main thing, the main reason I wanted to kill Empress of Light, other than to kill every boss in the game uh, with this arena-less, no, no boss fight arena playthrough, uh, is to get the Soaring Insignia. Why should this go? Probably here's, I, I don't know. Most of these are from the Eternia Crystal. I would like to have those all in a row, but it's probably not exactly seven. Whatever. Empress of Light can go here. Um, let's get rid of the pet. I always just find that distracting. And we're going to re-roll Soaring Insignia. That's literally all of our gold at this point. And it's already plus 4% crit. Uh, it could not be more expensive to re-roll this. What do I even want? Damage or defense, pretty much always. And crit is damage, kind of. So I guess I'll just hold on to it for now. We lose our double jump, which has infinite acceleration when we're going from down to up, which is kind of handy, but it's worth it, and I can't justify... When I've got Soaring Insignia, um, I can't really justify putting in, like, a balloon just for double jump compared to all of our other slots. Also, we now fly upward ridiculously quickly. Uh, let's see, movement speed? We go 102 when we're falling with the slime mount. To put that into perspective, we actually, we actually climb at 95 miles per hour with the soaring insignia. We, we only fall at 51 if we don't use the mount, but we can use the mount. Uh, so yeah, with this, uh, we can actually outrun... I forget what they're called, but the overpowered, scary worm things that come with the solar pillar that are supposed to punish you for flying. Uh, you can just fly away from those if you do it right, which isn't that difficult, especially with dash as well. You can fly upward very quickly and dash left and right. Um, going diagonal, you'll go faster to begin with, but dashing makes it even more so. 103 miles per hour if we're going diagonal. Or we could go straight up at 95 and dash with a peak of like 119. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's also going to make the next Empress fight that much easier. Because we don't have to do it in big... Uh... That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the fish run wings, the flight lasts for a, a long time, but there's a pretty big difference between a fairly long flight and an indefinite one. Alright, that can go there. And I'll definitely kill Empress again tonight. Um, there's uh, I I want to like completionist this at least as far as bosses that go. I want to fill all of these out. Um, I'll have to check the wiki for what some of those are. I'm sure a few of them are from the Eternia Crystal. Oh, let's go get the 
jungle key uh, thing opened. Let's put this away. Uh, we're not going to need a angry pink horseshoe balloon again. Probably don't need this many cloud in a bottles. Among other things stored away either. Get rid of that. Where is the jungle chest? Let's see. Corruption chest. Ice chest. Uh, desert chest. Jungle chest. So we have to go straight down. Can't go that far down. Down a bit, left, right, and there it is. All right, so down one zigzaggy thing, left at the corruption chest, all the way to the left going down a bit. And then when we hit this thing, turn this way. That room would be pretty good for farming, probably. Alright, let's head over there. And see if we can't get it without using any buff potions, because melee is just that tanky. Well, beetle armor is just that tanky. Corruption chest. There's the ice chest. All the way to the left until we hit this thing. And then we go right and down. I want to have a look at this place though, considering it as a potential spot to farm. Ow. 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 That's the only downside of melee. We don't hit everything constantly all the time, like some other classes. It do be taking a bit longer to kill things, though. Okay, but we could probably just like fly straight up. Uh, they've disappeared. Whenever we want to refor uh, refresh what's down here, we can just fly up. Hmm. Okay, let's go get that chest. This weapon is definitely easy to use. And test. Ow. Ow. Spikes. Why? Alright. And Piranha Gun. I forgot about this. It's a pretty cool weapon. Now we can get rid of those spikes. Uh, so it does range damage. Doesn't require any ammo. That's a lot of enemies. Is this the fabled excellent farming spot that I was looking for before? Oh wait, it was more the uh, the temple that I was looking for that. The dungeon's not so difficult that way. Although this would probably be a really good high spawn rate spot if we are looking for a tactical skeleton. But yeah, piranha gun. It just latches onto something like spiders and doesn't let go, no matter where you go. Not the highest DPS. I mean, obviously it does a lot more if we are ranged.
All right, let's put that away. Jungle chest. And then... I forgot I was carrying this. I haven't had occasion to use it since I went melee. Alright, let's stack our stuff away. That's a bunch of blink root that we should be harvesting. Fantastic. Okay, we've run out of plus health potions. Uh, I don't think we really need it against the Empress with this gear. What should we do until night time? I could start the pillars. I don't see why not. Oh, uh, this boss fight might take a minute with melee gear. Who cares? It's going to be pretty easy, I think. Probably don't even need buff potions. I th think some of the cultists have been misplaced. Um, did they follow us down here? That's not a cultist, is it? No, that's a goblin. Did they fall down this way somehow? I've never seen this happen before. Well, I've seen just a couple of them here before and then... I've seen four of them later on. Probably if we do a save exit, they'll come back, worst case. Um, but yeah, that is pretty strange, actually. Now I don't know what to do while we wait for Empress. Uh, we've only got, like... Two and a half minutes to go. I could look for a voodoo, uh, voodoo demon. We're definitely only going to kill Empress once per night with melee gear. And I only have one prismatic lay swing anyway. So it's not like we have to get there at 7.30 sharp. I do like this, uh, you can take tons of damage as long as you don't take damage too often design. Or rather, you take very little damage if you don't take damage very often. Okay, I have to know, how hard does this guy hit? I accidentally dodged it. Uh, almost 200 damage with one of those, but 
that's actually like incredibly mild compared to what happens with anything else, any other armor set. I mean, we could tank two of those. That's one or two more than any other class. Ooh, Mimic. Okay, Mimic hits kind of hard. Let's see, we've got everything except for plus health. Yeah. I don't think we're going to need that 20% health. Alright, I don't think we're finding our voodoo demon right now. Let's head back. does this one last? 10 minutes. Okay, that's good. See if we can't find one more lacewing. Probably not. Lacewing... Draper. Okay, immediately she practically teleports through us. If you don't simply know that she'll do that, you're gonna get owned. Imagine if that's how the fight ended, if we tried to do it during the day. Literally one second. That was a good dodge. Oops, I should have fallen faster. Probably not good to fight her in space. Let's stay a little bit lower. Oh, and we've got infinite flight. I forgot. That definitely makes it easier. Okay, so I think whenever she does that weird multi-image thing, she's about to dash horizontally. So preferably we want to just not be directly left and right of her whenever it looks like she might do that. Ow, ow, that was bad. Could you get out of the way, please? And the Wyvern is joining the fun. Oh my god. Let, let me leave! Holy crap! How do I avoid her boxing me in like that? Or is that like, I left the hallow and she got enraged or something? When can I heal? Nine seconds. Luckily avoided a hit for free there. 
There we go. A little bit of a safety margin now. Let's not waste it. And she just teleported onto me. Okay. Are you serious? Is it going to end this way? No. I think not. No. No thank you. Really? The opacity 2% tail of that star counted as a hit. Okay. All right. I kind of want to watch an instant replay of that, to be honest. Uh, let's put this away. I really don't see the pattern in when she does or doesn't just dash around like crazy. And ends up boxing me in with those stars and stuff. And like body blocking when I'm trying to get out of that area. And now we ha have to spend anything from two seconds to six years looking for another uh, uh, lace wing. I think I'll just start the pillars instead, if we don't get it this morning. We got the infinite flight, that's the main thing. I think I'll go Shroomite armor with explosive damage uh, for the pillars. I'll probably switch back to melee for Moon Lord. We get this uh, flaming spear thing that's quite good. I don't need, now that I think about it, Without having the uh, top tier sentries, trying to do the Imperium uh, Eternia Crystal, rather, uh, it's probably not that OP, or even OP at all, perhaps, if we have Moon Lord gear to try and fight that with no sentries. Oh, I should probably not be looking for lace wings and attacking everything willy nilly without the guide to critter companionship. First kill was actually so much easier than that second attempt. It wasn't just, it wasn't overconfidence, she actually just boxed us in like crazy. I guess I need to, I don't know, try harder to stay in the air but not the we need to avoid the ground, and we need to avoid space. Pirates are attacking, that'll be therapeutic. I 
Actually, I don't know. We don't have the best... If we're playing melee, we don't have the best gear for, like, singling out the ranged attackers. I'm actually interested to see how this plays out. Blood Moon, because why not? We didn't get a coin gun or discount card. Maybe they'll pay up this time. Oh, it's actually super easy to get some damage on the ranged ones to make them stop. Also, we have a lot of damage. It's only single target damage with this thing, but... I guess we could do this, but then we have other ranged attackers to worry about. I think this is the way to go, to be honest. Yeah, melee is definitely not the best class for this. Um, not that we're in that much danger, because we're so tanky. At least with these weapons... I could use the flying knife. We're only going to be able to neutralize, like, a few of them at a time that way, though. I guess I could... Yeah, I can actually hit them around a corner. Like this. This isn't the best spot to demonstrate it. If I had the ice rod... Ow. If I had the Ice Rod equipped, I could make a little wall and throw the uh, hatchet over it. Those birds do way more damage than they look like they should. from the sky almost hit us. It's, yeah, it's really difficult to get through to... Maybe I should use this weapon. That might be smarter. Except we need to, like, stand on the ground to make the most of the damage. That's got its own risks. It does have limited piercing, but... Okay, that's pretty effective. We could also hit with both the melee and the, like, beam. Not beam. The ranged part of the sword. More damages. This is actually the longest it's taken to clear the pirates in a while. I mean, if we had the kind of damage that we get from the glass cannons build, uh, glass cannon builds, it would not bode well for the game's balance. He just shot a cannon at us. I'm 
I'm surprised we haven't seen a flying Dutchman. Not that I'm complaining. We've killed enough flying Dutchmen. Unless... Unless we have to kill them for drops like the coin gun. I think the coin gun is like... Any pirate. Very low chance. If that's the case... Actually, not seeing a Flying Dutchman would increase our odds of getting it. Pirates... Uh, I was going to say pirates have been defeated. That's not what that text says. There's our boy. A lot easier to deal with with uh, infinite flight. In fact, can I just get directly above it and stay here? <laughs> yes, but we're missing a lot. Uh, did it just disappear? I don't think I killed it. Whatever. Alright, let's grab our loot. Stash it away. Golden bathtub. Oh, we got the pirate stuff. Probably not as good, definitely not as good as the sanguine stuff. I'm pretty sure. Depends how aggressive the pirates are attacking things. That is... Definitely nowhere near as effective as the Sanguine stuff. I mean, I, I would be very surprised if it was. Sanguine stuff requires Dread Nautilus. It had better be pretty good as opposed to some random summon that you can get. Pirate. Sanguine Bat. And... Let's put away the melee gear. At least for the moment. Which box am I going to put the actual gear we're using in? About here. Rocket damage. I think I had it around this way, actually. Piranha gun? That doesn't really fill the same niche as our short range blocker. But maybe, maybe like this. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, as long as I'm carrying rockets, I may as well grab the, um, proximity mine launcher. Occasionally that's quite good. It does a lot of damage, but you can kill yourself with it.
It's actually a little bit more damage than the Unreal Snowman Cannon. Without, uh, without a prefix. That's fine. The mines will actually stay there for a while. Um, is that doing what I think it's doing? It faded. I think that's because of our armor set. Just the way, just like the way I fade away. Nope, never mind. I'd, ne I'd never noticed them go invisible like that before. Triple damage when armed. Wow. Okay. Uh, Messi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we got all of our ranged gear, except for our accessories. I think I'll put those here. Not, not that. And we'll go for... I would actually like to get the Paladin Shield, the frozen version of it. Um, but that could take anything from 5 minutes to 10 hours to farm up, and that's not even an exaggeration. I did spend a ridiculous amount of time once farming up the uh, frozen shell for that. All right, sniper scope, ranger emblem, and uh, destroyer emblem. So we got almost 200 damage from the snowman cannon if we stand still. That's pretty good. 477 from the sniper rifle. Now that I think of it, uh, well, I'll pick it up after the uh, pillars, or before the pillars. I need to do a save exit to reset this, I think. Let's do that. Good. Why... Why are there no cultists? Why do you need the frozen shell? More defense? Yeah, um, the fact that it gives you... You take less damage if you fall below 50% health, I think it is. I don't think that would do much for the glass cannons though. I don't know. Um, let me just google this real quick. Altist? Hard mode post golem. Spawn along with a mysterious tablet in front of the dungeon after golem has been defeated. Uh, I know all this. All four cultists respawn and reset the location and initial passive state after one in-game day. If the lunatic cultist was not summoned. If the player runs away or dies during the fight. Okay, I guess we have to wait a day. Or at least until morning. Uh, 
why don't we go get some ammo reservation potions? I can't quick swap this. How about like that? Double cut. Why am I glowing? Oh, I think it's from the rune stuff. Oh, I have to remember I have a million, like, crappy fish if I really need to sell for some money at some point. Bramble crate. Alright, that'll probably do. Swap that out. And... Open. We got another staff of regrowth. That's nice. I'm always coming down here and not having a staff of regrowth handy, so... Let's remedy that. Can I fit a weapon rack? Right about here. I can. Perfect. That's what I want to see. And let's make some ammo reservation potions. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing double cod is good for, not counting seafood dinner. Yep. And probably find out that we actually had some all along. Nope, we did not. Cool. Um, let me put this away. Let me sell this. Let me put away the deadly magnet sphere while we're not playing summoner. Probably use some more grab potions. Oh, and we definitely want some plus health potions. Let's start with the grab. That's quite a lot. use the best bait this time. That's probably overkill. I think there's probably some upper limit or diminishing returns, but whatever. As far as I know, I'm maximizing the chance of Prismite here. I definitely didn't move the mouse. What just happened? Okay. Tried farm for this two hours and then I changed to flesh muckle. <laughs> flesh knuckles? You mean the uh, frozen shell? Yeah. It's actually insane how hard it is to get that. Prismite. Two Prismite.
Why don't we use all of our chaos potions? What's the time? 12 a.m. Seven minutes. I don't think I'm going to be patient enough to use all of this uh, fishing potion. Stacking all of that, uh, even using the master bait, does seem to be helping with getting our prismite, but it could just be variance. Or prismite? That's all we got for the entire fishing trip last time. Except we got all of it relatively early. Not this consistently, though. If we get to five, let's stop. second now. Rizmite. Nope. Rizmite, yes. Okay. And we got some spelunking potions. Fantastic. Swap those back. Um, crates go in here until we have enough to bother making a luck potion. I don't think I actually put Crystal Serpent in the collection earlier, so let's do that. Wait, I can check. Quick stack. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Um, so... Rizmite. And Chaos Fish. Oh, and let's make a few more seafood dinners while we're at it. Wait, I've already got a few here. There they are. Alright, good luck on ocean ingredient consumption. We only got six. Rip. Uh, what about chaos fish? Teleportation potion. Let's go. Where are the rest of them? We've got 18 teleportation potions. Let's see where they lead us. Well, this is new technically. Uh, it's actually a uh, neutral biome. It's not... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's not Hallow or Corruption or Crimson. Always good to know where to find those. Also, I haven't found the... I, I still haven't found the stylist, so let's maybe do something about that. Um, just use some buffs. I shouldn't have... Uh, I, I think I just wasted a life force potion. Whatever. We've got a few spares this time. Uh, but yeah, the stylist is only to be found in the cobweb places. It's a new day, so maybe our cultists have fixed themselves up. Uh, Hunter Potion will reveal friendly NPCs, I believe. So we just have to go back and forth here a bit before the stylist will show up. I guess I'm not taking off my cool hat anyway, but usually I like to have, like, hair that is 
more or less red, depending on how healthy I, my character is. Um, so how do we get here if we want to come back? Through there? I'm not worried about a skeleton statue at this one. Uh, we, we can add it to the collection. It's not that I'll be using it, though. That's a lot of spiders. Oh my goodness. Sniper rifle to the rescue. I actually kept thinking five was... Uh, snowman cannon there. I can't seem to settle on something for my muscle memory. Alright, let's do another uh, teleportation. We've got something nice and close to the ice biome. More neutral biome stuff. Can I fit through this? Yeah, there we go. I can come back here whenever I want. Teleportation. Been here. Teleportation. Uh, I've been here as well. Teleportation. Ice biome. In a big unexplored cavern. Let's go. Maybe we'll find our frozen shell just purely by accident. Yeah, right. You know what? I, I keep pressing five when I when I reach for the snowman cannon, so it's gonna be slot five. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean that would be just the kind of all or nothing RNG that I seem to get all the time these days. My inventory is full. We don't need more cobwebs. Uh, we sort of need more blink root. I don't need, need more healing potions. Alright, let's go back I guess. Stack this stuff away. Oh, I got... Uh, I think I was saving up some spider fangs earlier. Oh yeah, I didn't get the feet. This is probably a bit out of date though. The spider gear for summoning. We already got the spider staff. Here's another sentry. Add that to the old collection. I didn't have a skeleton statue yet. What's this? Black Recluse Banner. I'll hold on to that. It feels weird not having double jump now, though. Whenever I'm falling a bit and fly back upward, the, uh, the bobbing is very weird. Another... Rifle scope. Cell, cell, cell. Cell, cell. Numb. I haven't cleaned this out since we fought Fisher on a bunch of times. Cell. This goes in here. Quick stack all the things. And this goes here. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go fight those cultists. I hope. They are here. Fantastic. Alright, we have all of our buffs. I don't think we even need buffs to kill the... Uh, the lunatic cultist. Oh, that was a slime. That's fine. Let's re-up our buffs here. And... murder. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we even need buff potions for this guy. Have it your way. Play it safe. Where did he go? Not difficult with homing rockets. I could, of course, uh, deal a lot more damage to him. Not that much more, I guess. The homing rockets are a lot better when they're off screen. Hmm. The Xeno Poppers might actually have some limitations with that respect. Hmm, it's not that bad. Okay. Now we have pillars. Where are they? That one's fine, that one's fine. That one's fine, and that one's fine. Do they actually avoid uh, landing on top of NPC towns, or is that just a coincidence? I do not know. Lunatic cultist. You can go here, I guess. What is this? Tablet fragment. Contains a fragment of phantasm energy. Oh, it's a pet. Oh, wow. And what a pet. We're saving that one. Dropped it. Um, that's going to be a bit distracting. We have ourselves an ancient manipulator. Fantastic. We have a cultist mask. Doesn't really go with the rest of the stuff I'm wearing. But I'll definitely hold on to that vanity. And which pillar should we hit first? Oh wait, we've still got buff potions, I should hurry up. Let's get Solar out of the way while I've still got buffs. Oh wait, 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 wait. I was going to bring the bow because... Uh, we can actually... Snipe the thing from really far away with the bow sometimes. Although Shroomite gear again has I mean it does give us a bunch of extra range damage that's doesn't care what type of damage it is, as long as it is ranged. Oh oh whoa 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 that was just rude. I was scratching my nose. How dare you. 
uh, this is where we get to see exactly how strong Soaring Insignia is. Still gotta be careful- oh wow, that's actually- that's actually terrible. Um, the Sky Island means that these guys will rain down upon my head if I'm not careful. So, until we're ready to kill the pillar, let's stay over this way. And those things do count towards the progress to- oh my- how high are you gonna fly? Uh, the big worms do count towards the progress for the pillar as well. Just gotta keep my guard up. Sometimes these worm things come out of nowhere real quick. We don't have to fly upward to avoid them either, we can do a little circle if we're so inclined. Of course that makes it a lot more dangerous, whereby we might get hit by something else. It's not going to be really particularly necessary with our movement here. Even if it's not doing serious damage, the uh, Sanguine Bat is actually nice for telling me where an enemy is. Also, I should have free upped my uh, buffs. So that we have two of them. It would help to keep enemies away from me as well. Would you die please? Thank you. The other thing about this flying upward zigzag pattern is the rockets find the tail much more quickly. Which is the one spot that you can actually hit. Almost forgot the ability to fall really fast as well. I, I actually don't even need to dodge. Uh, it seems like if I just fly upward diagonally... I'm gonna test it next time. We might take one... Ow. Okay, I'll wait till I'm wait till I'm full health before I run that experiment. No, we can literally just hold space and outrun these things. much one item changes possibly the most obnoxious thing in the game to the easiest. There's very little hyperbole there. Let's 
does take a lot of killing to get this thing down. I think the solar is the only one that uh, hits you with these like solar fragments that are coming out of it as well. Like I thought it was just background stuff that doesn't do anything once and ran into it. That's a bit uncomfortable. Oh boy. Okay. Bad timing. And there it is. And there's enemies falling from the sky almost onto our heads. And that's my least favorite pillar. Out of the way. Uh, not to say that some of the other ones aren't super dangerous as well. In fact, since we have this flying cheese to beat the solar pillar, uh, it's kind of not the most dangerous one anymore. Alright, let's go back. Uh, that thing is a little bit of a marathon, so I am finally going to take a little break. Be back in just a few minutes. We'll fire up some words on stream. And what can we get from our solar fragments? Two things, uh, Solar Eruption and Daybreak. This is what we'll be using to kill um, the Moon Lord, I think. We need 36 to make one of each. Superior, that's a pretty good start. Alright, let's get words on stream going. Properties. All right, we're going to start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes to continue the pillars. Good luck and have fun.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, all right, let's pause the words on stream. Continue the Terraria. And it did occur to me that if I didn't mind having the pillars lying around, what I could have done to get a good gun to fight the Empress of Light is hit the Vortex Pillar. Um, we'll do that next. Let's put the melee gear away for the moment. Oops. And we've still got a bunch of solar fragments. What's our most special looking chest? Uh, I could make a marble one. Wait, do I even have marble? I don't think I've harvested any marble, uh, marble this playthrough. Whatever, we'll just grab a gold chest and put it next to the ancient manipulator. Solar fragments can go in there. Uh, now that I think of it, don't we have the ability to make super healing potions? Or is that... Requires one of each, I think. Except we can convert them. Uh, one of each plus greater healing potion makes super healing potion for 200 life. We can convert... Oh, it's one of every other type of fragment. Becomes one of X fragment. Okay. That makes sense. Just have to remember to make some supers after at least three of the pillars, if not four. Alright, let's get to... Wait, wait, wait. Let's refresh my buffs, because I've only got one bat. A sure sign that we need to... Refresh. And Vortex Pillar is relatively benign. For one thing, it doesn't have random attacks spewing out of it. Those shotgun things deal a lot of damage, but they only shoot horizontally. The queen things are pretty dangerous, if I recall correctly. But only if we let them be. Probably, this is probably the easiest or second easiest pillar. Also, I see a bunch of enemies are getting stuck just under the ground there. That's probably helping us. I wonder if we could fly up to the island up here, if that would be easier somehow. We'd get a bunch of melee things jumping off the cliff, unable to touch us. Oh, lightning. Yeah, I don't think it's really any different. Oh, oh, okay, that's just rude. What does create that lightning st- Was I punished for flying too high or something? 
Vortex Lightning. I didn't see anything that appeared to be casting that or anything. I don't think I used my buffs, did I? So we didn't really lose anything. I don't think I saw any lightning when I was down here. No, nope, wait, there it is. Except it's not shooting at us. Do we just have to get away from it before it does? No, the lightning that did kill me came from off screen. It looked like it traveled like from two screens away from when I was falling. I really don't understand what does or doesn't Cause the lightning. There it is again. It did not fire this time. Do we just have to be above it? Could be anything. Maybe it's one of the land things that summons it, and because I'm in the air, I'm away from the Sky Island, I don't have to deal with it. What was that? I think we were punished for flying too high. Not sure why. Almost everything in this place can fly and chase us. Nope, oh, that was lightning over there, so... What's the deal? Don't tell me it's random. That, that, that's too much, man. lightning and didn't shoot anywhere near at us. those things go for long enough they get bigger and badder. Does that give us... does that contribute more or less to the uh, making the shield go down or what? I know if you let those uh, stardust ball things reproduce you can get the shield down faster that way on the Stardust Pillar, but I don't think it works... I don't think it necessarily works that way with enemies that have more hit points or something. Oh! Let's not get complacent yet. And there's our boy. Ow.
Oh, that was close. 13 health. Okay. Alright. It's fine. This is fine. Why don't we ride the honey down? Lol. I thought it would maybe give us the honey regen buff the whole time, but not quite. This is, uh... This is peaceful. It never even occurred to me, uh... To use honey as an elevator. Let's grab the fragments. And now we can make a nice gun. We got Phantasm. 111. It's less damage than Tsunami. But... But what? Annoying Phantasm. Fantastic. Uh, if we use regular arrows, does it transform them or something? Oh, wait, that was... Oh, it gets faster and faster. Okay. Interesting. Let's put our target dummies down over here. So, if all of our arrows hit from Tsunami, we get around 3,000 DPS with Annoying Phantasm, which is like 40% less DPS than it should be. Alright, let's re-roll this. I, I don't know if it's going to surpass the Tsunami, to be honest. Nimble... It's not that much to re-roll. Godly, that'll do for a test. It seems to just be worse than Tsunami, unless you particularly like the spread pattern a bit better. The different speed arrows is kind of weird. I don't know. Am I missing something? Uh, what's it called again? Phantasm. Modifies arrows. Only consuming a single one. Constantly shooting gradually increases its fire rate. Doesn't benefit from speed modifiers, so it probably can't be uh, unreal. Note the best modifier is unreal. Each successful hit on an enemy causes three magical projectiles. Aha. Okay. Let's get rid of our target dummies. Okay, it's kind of hard to see with with such weak enemies. Um, why don't we grab ourselves a couple of... Not like that. Uh, okay, let's do an inventory management. I think we can go ahead and put the Xeno Popper away, maybe. Vortex Beta is going to take its place. Um, uh, 
Okay. So, chest statue. Where's the other one? There it is. Nice and tanky. Uh, Phantasm. Oh, the, wow, the, uh, the magic arrows are seeking as well. And it gets faster and faster. Okay, yeah, I can see this. I, I can see this surpassing the, uh, the tsunami. Okay. I also kind of like the spread pattern a bit better for most situations. Uh, it might be a bit expensive to roll it to Unreal, though. What have we got? 1.2 plat? That's not a whole lot. Can we get Godly, at least? Okay, that's, that's just rude. That is super rude, actually. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be needing some money. What's the best way to get money, I wonder? Also, let's grab these statues back. I think I have a bunch of Eye of Cthulhu's lying around, but they're not where they're supposed to be. They've all been quick stacked. Goodness knows where. Oh, 13. There we go. I can't use them for three minutes, though. We've got a bunch of fish. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got like four stacks of bomb fish to sell for starters. I've always found killing the lizards and golem in the temple really rakes in the cash. That might be pretty much true. What do we get for a stack of these? Only two gold. Uh, you know what? I'm keeping. I'm keeping one stack at least. Um. I don't think I am going to use the Proximity Mine Launcher, TBH. I've got a bunch of extra nail guns and sniper rifles. And stingers. Don't really need a Mimic Banner. I could always just make another gun. No, I can't actually. To see if we roll high. Let's put our target dummies back. statues. Alright, I guess I'll put away the tsunami for now. I can't believe it ended up on annoying. Uh, we've got a million fish to turn into meals. I might keep the lobster tails just for the luxury of it. The 10 minute buff time is kind of nice for when we're not too serious. Good grief. 
The stacking to only 30 is not helping. How much do we get for these? I know they're only basic meals. Less than two gold. That's hardly worth the time. Um, what about... Maybe I should just sell these as they are. I mean, I know the Neon Tetras are... No? Oh, Neon Tetra makes seafood dinner, hell yes. I'm so looking forward to the update where at least... Blocks will stack to almost 10,000? That sounds fantastic. Absolutely. Alright, well, it's time to mercilessly delete the Eye of Cthulhu. Lol. <laughs> that was a bit faster than I thought it would be. But just rockets. What if we use the... the fish? The piranha? Lol. And then it goes and deletes all of the little eyes as well. Oh. Not all of them were attached, so it got to charge just once. That's bloody. <laughs> oh no. Also, uh, Tarosk. Welcome, welcome. Might be doing well. I could sell a bunch of uh, metals that I'm never going to use as well. I mean, that's mostly what this is about. We're getting Demonite. I think only two of them connected this time. Terrible DPS. Oh, if I stand still, we deal more damage as well. Lol. <laughs> Alright. That is going to be a bunch of stuff to sell. over one gold for each pair of glasses. Five gold for that. About two or three gold for each shield of Cthulhu. And half a plat for demonite ore. I think we'd probably get more if we convert it, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, three demonite ore, or one demonite bar. It looks like... We gain one copper? Serious? We gain one copper. Amazing, let's do it. Easy money. And all of this adds up to, again, a bit more than half a plat. 
Um, that's just the Demonite bars, by the way. So that's going to give us, what, like... A couple of re-rolls on our annoying vortex speeder. At least the first re-roll is going to be cheap. Unreal. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Uh... Do I want to use the Vortex Beater for... Well, no, we're going to use Melee. For the Moon Lord. That being the case, I can... Cheerfully spend my Chlorophyte Bullets just for fun. Alright, let's switch to Bullets. I feel like mixing it up a little bit. Also, the rate at which we kill individual things with this is a bit over the top. Nebula Pillar or Stardust? I think Stardust. I want to get the minions. Speaking of which, let's make sure our buffs are refreshed. Vortex Beta is about to go for Unreal Vortex Beta, for that matter. It's not as strong as, as I was expecting, but I know those things that I just shot are actually really tanky. On the other hand, it's right below an island. That might complicate things a little bit. It's actually at our little jungle... I don't want to say arena, where we were farming turtles. Oh yeah, those... Ow. Ow. Seriously, ow. Wow. Jesus. These things. We want to let those reproduce. And then... We can kill lots of them to to get this pillar done quick and easy. As long as they get big enough, it's kind of like you know, you you don't you don't keep a fish that's too small if you catch it, you release it. As long as they get big enough, they'll reproduce when they die. After switching to bullets, we're just using rockets. And it seems like nothing else is going to spawn because the air is full of... Uh, what are these called? Star cells. Embrace the cheese. actually doing this faster than if we didn't do it this way.
Well, that was relaxing. Maybe I should use the bow for this part. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's... that's pretty strong. This is actually the perfect time to use, uh... the Piranha Gun. Or is it? Is the Piranha Gun too slow? It might be. Yeah, I think it is. Alright. How many pillars we got left? One? Or is it two? I think it's one. Alright, let's grab ourselves the best summon in the game. dragon stuff. And the cell is good too, but if we're not playing summoner, we've only got room in our hearts for dragon stuff. Let's go reforge that if we can. Ruthless, please. Um, I don't think it can crit. But godly in one roll is fine, especially because we're not playing summoner right now. We only have one Stardust Fragment left. Uh, did I miss some, or did we just get really unlucky with that? Ruthless is usually the go-to there, as much damage as possible, yeah. We're already at plus 15. It can go all the way up to plus 18. That's not that big a deal. It might add one to three points of damage. Yeah, we got all of the uh, fragments. sub zero -shius. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry if that was backseat. No, it's fine. I've, uh, I've played through all this before. I mean... So much was added to the game, I'm sure there's some stuff I don't know. I, I know there's some stuff I don't know, but... Uh, I should probably add a tag, like, backseating is fine when I play Terraria. Maybe not when I play uh, Calamity in the near future, because I want to do that blind. So does Calamity just add stuff, or is it like a complete overhaul where you can't count on any of the same gear existing? I never did sell this stuff. That's another Eye of Cthulhu. It's an overhaul, but same gear exists, but it adds new. Okay, cool. So I can still enjoy my favorite stuff. And I can... I, I guess I can go in with some idea of what path I could take for progression as well. Alright, if we're going to do the pillar, we have to be ready for the final boss. Well, I say final boss, but... Uh, even if I do some of it off-stream, it's probably just... I could check the wiki, but I think it's mostly just, um... Eternia crystal stuff that remains. There's four... Four relics, um, that I haven't filled out here after the Moon Lord. I'm progressing Calamity on Master. It's tough, but fun. Cool. And what's this? Another Eye of Cthulhu. How many Eye of Cthulhu treasure bags were just lying around that I missed? Good grief. Alright. 
Um, Nebula is like mage, right? I seem to remember something nasty at the. It's it's above the meteorite as well. I seem to remember something nasty at Nebula, like uh, rain suckers. Oh, and those teleporting laser shooting things. Well, um, the idea is to fight the Moon Lord as a tank for the first try. So we'll put this stuff away. Um, we're in, there's only like one or two. Really, probably just the Daybreak is what I'll be using um, to fight the Moon Lord. But I guess it's already superior. Wait, we've got some money. We can re-roll this. Two two point five plat. Godly, Godly's fine. Zealous, shoddy, shoddy, keen, hurtful. I'm not going to be using this much. Let's put our ranged gear away. Where did I put the stuff I was actually using before? Here it is. I think this will be in our magic missile slot. That's for piercing things. We'll probably only end up using these two to be honest. Uh, we definitely want a flask. Oh, Ikor? Featherfall is probably a good idea for the Moon Lord. Oh, I've got a million Featherfalls, actually. Grab Potion, Featherfall, Damage and Damage Reduction, Hunter, Light, Thorns, Movement. I don't think Inferno Potion is going to do anything for us. Nor knockback. Uh, and we can't. I don't think we can with our artificial crimson biome. We can't fish up. Wait, we, no, we probably can. I should have thought of this ages ago. Uh, I should have made a nice, relatively safe fishing spot in crimson, and we could also get. I think it's ten percent crit chance. As well as 10% damage. But it's a little bit late for that. It's unlikely to make the difference against the Moon Lord. Oh, I need to put my ranged accessories away. I might end up using the Destroyer Emblem. Since that is class agnostic. I never ended up making... what was it? Oh, never mind, that just goes into... There was some kind of melee accessory that I didn't end up finishing. If we go full tank... That's what that's gonna look like. Do I lose speed or something if I get rid of the fish on wings? Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, we do need... Oh, I would have to use the boots for flying. And we climb at 57 as opposed to... 95. 
Okay, that's a pretty big difference. I'm kind of glad because it means it gets... It, it means it's correct to keep this here. And I never have to think about getting stuck in water or anything. Flying knife isn't really useful anymore. I wish I'd killed Plantera a few more times so we got that flail that shoots at things. That'd be a nice thing to put in the utility slot here. Um, I guess I'll just put the ice... Where is it? Ice rod. It usually goes there. Wait, where did I put the ice rod? Here it is. Okay. So we got... Only 93 defense? Did I do something wrong? Oh, it's because there's no shield, paladin's shield. 93 is a lot, though. I don't mind a menacing charm of myths. We really need the knockback and stuff resistance. That's eight defense though. Let's try it like this. And since this is class neutral, we'll put it over here. And I think we're ready to go. Oh wait, Stardust... Dragon Staff, rather. That's nice. Oh, another Eye of Cthulhu <laughs> treasure pack that I didn't notice. Fantastic. We'll sell that later. Oh, 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 rude. This thing's kind of awkward. Oh, let's use the homing missile thing. That's actually probably still a lot easier in this situation. As opposed to having to aim, can you imagine? Yeah, the uh, Possessed Hatchet actually seems to stay relevant for a good while. I mean, how many homing missile spamming attacks? We didn't get the Fisheron drop that we wanted for melee damage. So how many homing missile spamming attacks does melee get, actually? Ow. That tickled. Our small Stardust Dragon has a little trouble catching enemies. Oh, rude. Nope. 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 I'm not actually using any buff potions yet. Uh-oh. Okay, that hurt. Let's, uh, screw it. Um, all the buffs. All, the, all of the buffs, please. Oh my goodness. Um, that was uncalled for. That would have killed me pretty quickly if I was any other class. Why don't I grab one of uh, these? There we go. Much better. 
Oh my goodness. Valdak? Wait, you already appeared today. Well, it's good to see you again anyway. Get wrecked. Let's be a bit more careful this time, I suppose. It was really fine until the teleporting, the, the teleport spamming laser thing appeared. This thing. There we go. Oh, another one. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. How long are you going to survive? There we go. I've been here and then I wasn't and now I'm here again. Fantastic. I absolutely love that emote. I need to get it. Damn it, Sifa Cat. Ooh, that's gonna hit me. Maybe I should go for some more damage. Like, if I trade off the shield... I'm gonna try it. Because we want the total time that we spend fighting uh, the Moon Lord not to be so long as well. I don't think 8 defense is gonna make as much difference as, you know, we're wearing the beetle armor. I don't know if armor has diminishing returns in this game or not. But like 97 as opposed to 105 is probably not that different anyway. Oh, this is the wrong this is the wrong weapon. There we go. Ow. Yeah, judging by the amount of damage we took just now, it's not that big of a deal. Could you stop teleporting? Thank you. It does feel nice having Featherfall, especially with infinite flight. We're halfway there. Ow. Now, again. And I would have got hit a third time if not for Master Ninja Gear. Literally teleports faster than my dash uh, refreshes. So I need to maybe try moving in a big arc instead. That's probably going to be a more effective dodge pattern. I did have a forlorn hope that uh, being close to the media would force it to spawn meteors instead of the actual threatening enemies. Media heads, that is. But alas. Yeah, circles are the way to go here, I think. It's not perfect. But 
probably has the best chance overall of not getting hit. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. No thank you. Being forced to retreat with the tankiest gear. Feels bad, man. Uh, why don't we grab our healing stone again? And... Back we go. Wait, where am I? Okay. There's, there's no threat in this place that compares to the teleporting eye laser thing. It sounds like a laser, it doesn't shoot like a laser. We can't suppress it by dealing damage or anything either. And it just teleported right in front of me. dead again. to reset my buffs and dragon actually dragon's kind of been struggling to touch things because it's only got two segments maybe in that case Ignorant, nimble doesn't do anything, really. Agile, lazy, damaged. Forceful? Meh. I'm just looking for some damage, like any, any amount of damage, really. Slow, demonic, okay, cool. I might even just go for two of these. Because these are about as effectively aggressive and unavoidable as the Sanguine Bats. As soon as they see something, they just practically teleport onto it. And we're already hit by the laser eye. Oh, okay. Teleport in my face again. Yeah, these these summons are very reliable. Ow. Ow. No. If we don't have a Oh my god. Are you serious? Hey Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I don't know how we're supposed to avoid that. Like, no matter what movement pattern we take, they can just teleport in the way and clap us. Alright, full health again. I'm not going to use my last life force potion until it's boss fight time. Oh, we're actually ready as well to kill this. Oh my... Literally, right in my face. Is this faster? Probably not. It does explode though. Alright, we have about a minute until the end of the world. Impending doom approaches. Let's get our health back. Um, let's get our super healing potions. And let's put our wings back on. Refresh our buffs. Don't forget that one. And be ready to hit the buff button as soon as... Oh, well, okay, I could just hit it a little bit early instead. I did just notice, though, that I had to regen some health as soon as I hit the buff potion because of max health changing. So I guess that's fine, actually. The nasty thing about this boss in particular is if you don't try, if you don't keep all three of these eyes set up so that they'll die at about the same time, you're going to make things much, much, much more difficult for yourself. In particular, I want to kill the top eye first, if possible. I can't see the eye. Oh my god. Okay. Is this how we die? Cool. Uh, it got hidden behind the mini map. And then I couldn't see what the, the top eye was doing. And then just as I was like, okay, how do I change the mini map? Then we ran out of space. Despite playing the tankiest build, that didn't take that long. If I want to try again, I have to kill all of those pillars all over again. Unless I had more of these... 20 of each to make a Celestial Sigil, but... Uh, we actually have, like, I don't understand how we've got so many solar fragments left. And literally zero of the, uh, the mage, not the mage ones, the, uh, what have we got? Solar, nebula, vortex, and stardust. We got so few Stardust Fragments that we were barely able to make our summoning gear. Um, but yeah. You basically, while dodging all of that crap and trying to not end up too high up in the sky, even though you need to be able to get over the eye at the top, 
Uh, you have to try to manage it so that all three of those eyes go down at about the same time. Because once they individually go down, it spits out some unkillable stuff that'll chase you and shoot at you. And then the final section, like as soon as you've got all three of those down, it's kind of just like a victory lap, really. You can actually just like treat it like a normal non-arbitrary nonsense video game boss where you just like keep your distance and dodge things. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna have time to even make a start on... on making another attempt this stream. We can delete the lunatic cultist, though. It's gonna be kind of hard if we have to auto aim. I mean, have to manually aim, that is. Mm. This boss fight's definitely easier with a uh, glass cannon, really. I think. This is actually taking a while. I'm not used to it. Ow. Yeah, normally that thing dies as soon as I look at it. I think glass cannon is actually the safest way to fight this enemy. Goodness, this is actually hard. Picking the right class for the job makes all the difference. Alright, can we try and... What is that? I've never even seen that. even got him down to half health. Oh my god, this is... I'm using buffs. Okay, you know what? I think it might be worth uh, taking the trouble to aim. Yeah, this, this is some stuff I never even get to see, because I usually just kill him too, too quickly. This is so much harder than ranger or mage homing missiles. Blast cannon. I think we'll get there though. Oh, what did I just bounce off of? I should use this thing. Oh 
doesn't seem that great. Oh, could you stop juggling me? Holy crap. I need to fall. Stop being in space. We do actually have finite flight time if I'm using the mount. Weirdly enough. Did I get him? Nope. there. This is like a freaking aim trainer. There we go. Finally. I'm never ever fighting the lunatic cultist as melee again. I don't care how tanky it is. Good grief. Okay. Time to find a stream to raid. Who's playing Terraria? First time Terraria player absolutely destroys master mode, killing every boss first try and zero deaths real. Okay, you know what? Uh, that, that has, that has earned a raid, I think, that title. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Tomorrow's an off day, and then we've got two days of oxygen not included. Followed by two days of Factorio, Space Exploration K2, and then back with more Terraria. Take care, Silent Storm. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, away we go. Oh shit! Wait, Tyrannosaurus, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we're having a good one. Thank you so much.